Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. My God. Sure. How are you, everybody? Sorry to damn late. Ah! Hallelujah. Carabos, your handle. Today is today. Oh. My God, How are you, everyone? May God bless you. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for coming in. May God bless you. May God protect you. Eh? You know, today I just feel like that. You just feel like that. Let me reduce the volume so that you should hear my voice. Today, today I feel like dancing today. Ah! Let me invite you. Let me share my video, okay? Today is today. Hey! How are you, everyone? How is everyone doing? God bless you. Thank you so much for coming in, for joining. God bless you. Keep the fire burning. We are in this thing together. Augustine, how are you? I look good, eh? That's right. Thank you. Invite someone. My God, you know today I feel like dancing. Ah, guys, today forgive me. Today I feel like dancing. Rabos, Yahana. I'm trying to invite people, okay? That's all done. I'm trying to invite people. God bless you and let may God bless you. May God protect you. Share the video. Invite someone and be a blessing. Ah, today we are going to dance. My God, Rabosia, honey, Rabosia. So invite someone, please share the video. This message is for somebody out there, and I know today we are going to be blessed. Today we are going. Today our lives. We are just moving on a different level. Today our topic is like making use of your talent. So today I want to make the use using the talent of dancing. Eh? Hey, Rabosia, da 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 da. Standing around me. You know, I, I just feel like I'm delaying myself. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. How many people are these standing around for their goods? Just man, how are you? May God bless you. Gillan, God bless you. Tarawani, God bless you. My God, Rabas, Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. So before we start, I just want you to share the video, invite someone, and as you share, God bless you, may God protect you, may God cover you, may God shower you with his blessing, may God surprise you this, this week, in the name of Jesus, you cannot share my video and life, your life remains the same, it's impossible, I speak the blessing from above to come upon your life, whatever that has delayed in your life, wait, wait. Today, today, can you see that I'm too excited? I speak, let me pray for people that are going to share my video. I pray for everyone that is going to share my video. That may God bless you, may God protect you, may God cover you with the blood of Jesus. This week, you will come back with a testimony and you will remember that this is the prayer that I offer today. In the name of Jesus, I speak that grace will be your portion, increase will be your portion, favor will be your portion. You will not see shame. Shame is not your portion. Setback is not your portion. Everything that the enemy has said, has said to destroy you, to destroy your family, to destroy what God has put in your life, I cast it out and I break every power. I break every weight, every mouth that the enemy has spoken during your night, Harabasata, during the night when you are sleeping, whatever that the enemy has put on the ground, I command them to be exposed and lose its power. In the name of Jesus, I speak grace. I speak you will prosper in everything that you do. May God bless you, each and everyone that is going to share and everyone that is going to listen to the word of God. May God increase you. Harabal Siata. Today I'm too excited. Can't you see, guys? Ah, my God. So I'm done with Charlie. I want to dance. You know, my heart is just beating. I want to dance. Today we are going to dance for God. How are you, Jomama? Jomama, may God bless you. Beverly, may God bless you. Thank you so much for coming in. And go, everyone. Karawa, God bless you. Ha! How many are ready to dance for God? How many are ready to dance for God? 
My heart is beeping. You know, today I never even wanted to dance. But when I was coming in, I just I sent my prayer. I sent the uh, there's a this the the what the song that is playing at the background. I I sent it to. I told Agatha that please Agatha send me the the, the song. Uh, I want the the song. Favor is my name. So today, ah, that was so adorable theater. Jacqueline, how are you? May God bless you. Eh, that I look beautiful. My dear, it's a glory of God. Oh, oh. Let me tell you what happened yesterday. yesterday. Yesterday I went to church. After I always go to church. And I do with media things. So yesterday, I was, you know, I was looking very sweet now. As you can see. So then, you know, there's this, there's this man. Ah, I mean, a lady that was working on the computer with me. Then I was like... You're so beautiful. Are you dating? Then I was like, eh? No, I'm not dating. Does it mean that I have to look for me to look smart? I have to date. Yes, then I'm, I'm dating Jesus now. So, guys, it's okay. Is it true? It's not wrong. When, when, when my man comes, I'll tell you. I'll tell you that, guys, right now, man, baby. But it's where we don't look nice because you're dating. You have to look nice because you're a child of God. Maintain your, maintain your. your you are shining more grace, huh? Jacqueline, thank you. Naharaba sote. So, sometimes it doesn't mean that you have to look shiny, shiny because you are dirty. No, we have to look nice because our bodies are the temple of the living God. So, I'm not saying that when you are dating, you have to look dirty. No, I'm just saying that even if you are not dirty, you have to look smart. Look at me now. Look, ha! Huh? I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Don't hate. Hey! Now let's go. My God. So today our topic is that making use of your talent. You know, let me tell you before before we dance. Uh, actually, this message, what happened is that last week, I, I had it, but it's like I never, it, it wasn't crossing because there are a lot of messages that I have to preach. So uh, when, uh, uh, when the woman of God was online, he made he, he preached the woman of God Princess Belema for you people who don't watch her, the woman of God Princess Belema did. She came online the time we were doing one, seven days fasting. Though I didn't do the whole seven days, I started on the middle guys. Uh, she, she, she said, then she started preaching about making use, make God make me useful. And it's, it is, uh, I don't know which day was that. She mentioned, she mentioned about uh, uh, the talents, about the master giving me talents for the servants and everything. So that message I came into, and the, and the, before that, there was there's this sister of mine, she also preaches. It preaches on Facebook matter. I was speaking to her that you know what? Making use of talents, some things that God has put in your life, some things that God has put in your life. Dancing, me, I gave an example of myself now. Then I was like, there's some people that are going to are connected to you. They'll come to know Christ because you they like the way you dance. And that is a talent that will attract somebody to come to Christ. We are going to preach about that. I just wanted to tell you. And guess what? Uh, the following day, it's like the woman of God spoke about the talents, like the same. And I went on YouTube, and I was listening to this preacher. I don't even know the name. And he mentioned, in his sermon, he also mentioned about that. Then I was like, oh, it's like God wants me to speak about this one, eh? Okay, it's okay. I will talk about it. So today, the time I was coming on, uh, me and today, I just wanted to, to, to smartly preach nicely. You know, today I'm looking nice. I don't want to sweat too much. But she, I, I, when I was coming, I was just like, I was looking for a song. Then I had to send that guy. I sent for a guy. I was like, uh, Woman of God, how are you? Please send me that, that song. Okay. Ha! So, guys, you leave me alone. You will be all right. So, today I want to make use of my talents. The talent of dancing. You know, I've got, it's like I've noticed I have so many talents, but let me make use of some now today. Ha! How many are ready to dance for God? And don't apologize, my God. How many are ready to dance? Comment if you are ready to dance. Ah. How many are ready to dance? If you are ready to dance, say, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. When you tell me that, I'll stand up and dance now. Ha. Yeah. God is sweet, guys. God is very sweet. Those people tell you that God is boring. It's their God. Let them come and try my own. My own. Ha. My own make me crazy. My own make me... You know, I don't like being normal. As my bishop, my prophet says that I'm not normal. Me too. I'm confused. I'm not okay. And I like it like that. How many are ready to dance for God? My rebels. Yeah. 
Love you, you know I am obsessed with your dance now. I'm ready. Jacqueline is ready. Who else? Who else is ready? Ha! Ay, 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 how many people are ready? Jacqueline is ready. I want like two or three more to, to comment that they are ready. Josephine said, God showed me, he showed me what you were to be in the nearby man. Do you still remember the dreams? Jacqueline, uh, Josephine, I remember I've forgotten. Higher. Yeah, I think you did tell me that one. Today, no sleep for me. No sleep for you, with your mama. Today, we're going to dance. Josephine, I think I've forgotten that one. Oh, I don't know what you called me or forgotten about it. Hallelujah. Who else is ready for the dance? Who's ready for the dance? Who's ready to shaka douche the dance? Can you imagine you guys? Let me tell you. Uh, when was that? Uh, there's a time I was doing deliverance of someone. And the demon was saying that you don't like it when you dance. And I was like, hey, so my dance does something to you. So what I did, when I was cutting out that I, I was praying for that person. Then I told the demon that, okay, I'm going to cast you with, with my dance. Can you imagine? I started dancing and the demon was like, oh, oh, oh. And I was dancing. Hey, hey. The demon was being casted out by a dance. So and that's why I come to understand that when you're a child of God, when you're a child of God, everything that you do, whatever you do for God is anointed. If you want, you can use your, just join you. I've come to understand God. If you want, you can just use your boy, you grow. A demon is out. Why? Because you understand the gift of faith is in you. Me, I use my dance to cast out a demon. Ah! Jesus, you are too much. Because that's how my faith, I have faith that I can cast out a demon with a dance. Eh? Hallelujah! I have admi I, I, I have admired to see you teach. Ah, Susan! Ah, my God! Huh. I'm encouraged though. Okay, now let me dance. Who else is ready? Araba Okay, okay. Time to dance now. Time to dance now. We are dancing for our father. It's not a crime to dance for God. Ah! Who said being a Christian is holy? Who is all man? Now we go, I'm going to put my phone down, okay? Today we are making use of every talent. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to put your phone down. Yeah. Yeah. My God. I will start. This God is sweet. Oh. I'm ready. Oh. Now I said she's ready. Can you hear the music? Hey! Today I've been carrying the rap What? Yeah? 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 <laughs> Let me push the chair. Let me push the chair. Today we have to scatter the flow. The enemy has to see. You know, sometimes the, this, the wicked demons, what they do. You, you people are, who are familiar with the... Uh, who are familiar with uh, deliverance? The demons they manifest. Sometimes they tell them that, why are you calling me? <laughs> My dear, it is well. I know your name. So the demons they manifest, they have got their own dance. Even us, let's show them that we can do it.
turning around. Oh. Everything is turning around for your good. God is changing our levels. Hey! Favor shall be called your name. Everything is turning around for your good. Oh. 
How are you people? My God, God is able. God is faithful. You guys, I'm sweating. God is faithful. God is amazing. He never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God is amazing. You know, sometimes the enemy always makes people feel as if I can't stop. <laughs> that you better stop or continue in your own place, my dear. So one thing that we have to know that God is able. Sometimes the world makes us feel as if God is boring because they feel like being in a club. Others, maybe they, even the one dancing in, they feel offended. So it's their fault. Or me, you know the God that I say. You look at. I'll give an example of David. When the ark of the Lord was being brought in the in the land of Egypt, after it was captured by the uh, the Philistines and the and and the children of Israel brought the were bringing the ark back. For them to bring the ark of the Lord back, it had to take some songs to be played, some hymns to be played. Even David himself, as the ark was coming in the, to the land of Egyptians, guess what? He had to dance. That's what even made the wife himself, Micah, the son of Saul, to display David. Why? Because he was dancing as a king. He didn't take the position, no, just because I'm a king, I cannot dance. No. David went astray on his way as a, as a king to do, to dance for God. So sometimes you find, and sometimes when you're dancing for God, we're also getting deliverance for ourselves, spirit of joy. Sometimes don't be too serious and think as if God is boring, because sometimes because of traditional, because of how people look at God. God is our father. In fact, we have even to be so much free to God than even our biological fathers because God understands us better, because God knows us better, because God is our father. So let me tell you the truth that sometimes what I'm from doing right now, some people who are religious, they're offended. Even others who are going to come to me, they'll be offended, but they'll be all right. They'll be fine because you're dancing for our father. Do you know what? Let me give you an example of a crab. When people go into the crab, 
the way they dance, the way they grow for Satan, the way they go, when those songs are playing, you know, secular songs, they'll go down, they'll grieve, they'll go down. Hi, Angela, how are you, my sister? Oh, God bless you. They'll grieve, they will go down. But what will stop you from dancing for God? Who gave you that body to dance for you? Everything about you is to glorify God. So, whoever doesn't like what I was doing, you'll be alright. I'm doing it for my father. And he likes it. He does me. He likes it the way I do it. So, and today, uh, my topic is also connected to making use of your talent. Making use of what God has, has put inside you. Some of us, God has put so much things in us. And we are not making use of any of the two. Any of them. So, I came to remind you today. That we have to make use of what God has imposed in each and every one of us. Because if you are not getting use of those, those things, they will stand against us. They will stand, they will stand against us on judgment. God will be like, why well, I gave you to you can do this. I know you can dance. You can do this. I know you can do poetry. I know you can you can you you, you I put this gift of preaching in you, the gift of encouragement in you, the gift of singing in you, the gift of dancing in you, because I know what kind of people that are going to attract it to my kingdom because of what you have have imposed in you. So let me tell you how this this message came on. On I don't know what when was that? Was it on Monday? I was, I was talking to one of my sister, Martha. I was telling her, I was explaining about the talents. I was like, you know what? God has given us the three, uh, uh, many talents. Then I started telling her, for me, I've noticed some I don't know, but I'm noticing I love dancing. I like encouraging people. I can, I can I, I, by God's grace, I can also come here by, to preach. And I also like drama to comedy. And I also like, and I like, I like comedy too. And I also like I'm, I, it's so easy. I am I'm, I'm a comedian most of the times. So I preach uh, by God's grace, deliverance too. And like there's so much that God has put in me. So I was I was just telling her. I gave an example of dancing. Then I was telling her, do you know what matter? I was talking to her. Do you know what matter? God has imposed us with so many things in us. Some because there are some people who love dancing, and you find that like me. And there are some people that are connected to me, that are connected to God, that are going to come to know God. Why through the dancing, they will never hear me preach. But they they just saw me dancing, and that dancing is what I used to bring somebody to God. Hi, Dorcas, may God bless you. I was like, that dancing is what draw them to come to know. They want to say, oh, let me come across Yvette. And when they come across me, then they find that Yvette can also preach. Yvette can also preach. I use my dance to attract them because that's what they like. Then I was giving an example. But some people, they'll just hear me. Maybe not even that they have heard me sing. Just singing for God. They'll be like, who is this person singing? Let me just come across her. I listen to her. And that singing, they're not that I preach to them. No, I just sang. For them to come to know Christ. Then, so I was telling her that. Then I was like, wow. So sometimes God has, actually God has imposed us with different things because he knows the way he has wired us is to attract different category of people depending to what talents, what talents are in you. There are some people maybe who, are, who love drama. Some people, they'll never hear me. They've never heard me preach. They've never, but they'll find just me doing drama. Hi, Sister Felicia. How are you, my sister? They, they just heard me doing drama. They've never seen me preach. But that comment that I made is what you, what they wanted to say. Well, let me find out. Well, who, is, who is this Yvette? Then they later they even discover that, that Yvette is using comment to bring people to love God, to be joyful. There are some people maybe who have been in bondage. There are some people maybe who have been in bondage. But uh, I mean they have been sad. When they see my drama, when they see me making jokes, you find them come, they'll be healed. And they want to find out, this is this event. Later they'll find that they, they'll come to know that I do all those comics for the glory of God. That if you know my dancer, you came late. You came late. I just think this video just started by dancing. So you came late. Oh, it was a very serious dance. Ask the ones who are here. So what is it that you have? So when I was talking to Martha like that, and the following day, woman of God, Princess Belema, we are doing 40 days fasting, for uh, seven days fasting. She came on and she was preaching about, she made, she, oh, I don't know if it was Monday or Tuesday, or say Wednesday between the two between the three days she talked about making uh, about the talents the the the, the story about the, the master who left the talents to three servants and how they made use of it then I knew that this message I have to speak to it again or uh, that actual day I think the following day I went on YouTube I was listening to a certain message 
And the preacher himself, I don't even know the preacher, I just came across it and I was listening to it. And the preacher himself mentioned something. In his preaching, he ended up mentioning the scripture about the talents. And I was like, ah, so it means I have to preach this one. Because there are so many messages I have. And I was like, oh, let me preach this one. Sometimes I, I want to preach something and God to tell me, no, don't preach this one. This one, preach it the other day. And he will tell me when I have to preach it. So there are so many messages that I have, but I'm waiting for when I should preach that message. So this one... I'll preach it today. Hallelujah. How many people Rabba Sunde Katasiha? So I want I want us to my God. Rabba Sunda Rabba Sunde Katanaba Zuyanda. So let's just let's let's just worship. Let's just worship God. Rabba Sunde Zendelebus the Kerebus Yakaraba Zonde. Let's just worship God. Let's just worship God in and four minutes. Let's adore him before I get into the word of God. Rabasanda, let's appreciate him. He's the most high God, and there's no one else like him. Mazunde Kalaba, we can just bubble in tongues, speak in call, call upon the fire, the power of the Holy Ghost to take over you, Lord. Rabasunde Kalabas. Yes, Lord. He's the most high God. He's the most high God. Rabba Sunde de de Bos Yaha. Jetele Gazunde Kalaba. So exalt him. As we get into the word of God, tell him that Father, you are the most high God. And hallowed be your name. Alabasa, you make the impossible possible. Raza de de Bos Yaha. Hey, Jesus. That everything's gonna be okay. You are the brother to the father. He's the father to the fatherless. He's a miracle working God. He makes the blind man to see. All oh, the crippled man to walk. Make impossible possible. Is there anything that you feel like it's impossible? It is not working for you. He's a miracle working God. He's a powerful God. He never changes. He knows you. He knows what you're going through. The only thing is to exalt him and tell that Father, how will be your name? You are the most high God. Nothing. Lord, you are the most. 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 Father, reggae don't suffer. When people choose to exist what they have, but Lord, we know that you are the most high God. Nothing can take your position in our lives, Lord. You are the best father ever. Rabba Zonegados. God. He knows you. If he can make the blind man to see, what is that situation without the blind man to see? What is that situation that will stop you from being what God has called you to be? He's a faithful God. He's a powerful God. Hallelujah. Raga dos ya karaba zonde kato raba seke lebo sakato ji karaba zonde karaba zoko raba seke raba seke raba seke lebo sakato ji karaba seke lebo sakaraba sakato raka taka seke lebo seke lebo sakaraba zonde ka zeke lega dos ya hande gata sia hande kato zeke laba zonde kaba laba sande exalt his holy name magnify him most of the times people don't like rain let me tell you prayer is the key to Unlock every to, to unlock every stubborn situation. Prayer is the only way to communicate with your father, to turn to express your feelings. Prayer is having an intimate relationship with God, is having a date talking to your creator, the maker of heavens and earth. Mazunde Karaba Zunde Ka Reggae Don Siakaraba Zunde. He's a most high God. Hey, you are the most. You are the most I got. You are the most I got. How about Saka? How many believe in their heart that God is the most I got? He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. Don't just come on this platform because you want to add number to my video. No. If you are not, if, if you don't feel like, don't force yourself. If you're not connected to what is happening, this is the work of God. It's not about me. Rabba Sunde. It's about God. It's about God. Rage Zende, the child of God. Rabba Sunde. 
In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's a faithful God. Thank you, Lord, for each and every soul that is here, Lord. Even those that are going to come through this letter. May you bless them. May you protect them. May you cover them. My Father, use my mouth of pray to proclaim your way. Hey! Ask God to fill your heart. Father, I am nothing without you. I am nothing without you, Lord. I am lost without you, my Father. Lord, I empty myself in order for you to fill me, my Father. I don't want anything to be about me, but everything should be about you, Lord. My Father, my God, you are worthy. Tell him that, Father, I dedicate my family before your Holy Spirit. I dedicate my weight before you. Everything that I have is because of you, Jesus. In every situation, in every way, let me tell you, the Bible says God is looking for true worshippers that will worship Him in truth and in spirit. God is not looking for smart, smart worshippers. God is not looking for religious worshippers. God is not looking for carnal worshippers, but He's looking for worshippers, those that will worship Him in truth and in spirit. Child of God, He's a faith. He's a good God. He's a faithful God. He never fails you. He knows you from the time you are born up to now. He knows you. He knows what is best for you. Sometimes you feel that you have wasted your life. No, I came to tell you God. God is more than able to do exceedingly above and above all. If you feel that your life has been wasted, let me tell you, He's a God that can recover. He's a God that can recover your destiny. He will restore everything that the enemy has stolen everything that the counter winds up eating. He will restore it in the name of Jesus. As long as you set yourself apart for God. The problem is that sometimes you want to live a double life. A life tomorrow you're for God. Tomorrow you're for the devil. It doesn't work like that. What is your what is your secret life? What is your secret life? How your boss said before you complain and say that God I'm not expressing my answers from you. Before you complain, set your heart Sit down and set your heart and look and find out what is not, what am I not doing right? Rabba Sandalabo. And if you find that whatever you're doing is right, just wait upon the Lord. He's a God that never denies his own. He's a God that never rejects his own. He's a law that never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, you are alive on this earth. You are still living because there is a purpose that you are supposed to fulfill as a child of God. There is a man, there is a mantle. There is something that God has put in you that you have to achieve, that you are supposed to. You are here alive because there has to be a purpose that you're supposed to, sell, to fulfill in the name of Jesus each and every time. The Bible says you can't serve two masters at the door. In the name of Jesus, you're a Christian. Yes, people know you as a child of God. People know you as a Christian. But are you a Christian outside people, outside the Christian, out of change? Are you still a Christian? Do you still maintain your Christianity even outside church? Do you still maintain your Christianity when nobody sees you? Rabba Sunde Dalaba Shete. Sometimes we, we complain, we blame God that God, I'm seeing nothing happening to my life. But the 
Rabana, Regeda Sende Kato Sana Kato, Regeda Sakarabasu Negarabazon de Karabasu, Ragadosa, Regeda Sakarabaso, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are worthy. Father, you are with the Most High God, and you remain the same. There's no one else like you in the name of Jesus. Ragadosa, Father, you are not a man that should lie, nor a son of man that should repent. Whatever you say, you will do it in the name of Jesus. Regedosia, Regebasuta, Zakarabazondeka, Regedosia Kato, Zikarabazonde, Ragadosata. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even as we are going to listen to the word, what you have, my Father, may we speak, my Father. May you use me as a mouth of prayer to proclaim your word and speak to me too, my Father, because, my Father, I also learn in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ragados Yahande Gaba, Jende Gaba Sute. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We adore you, Lord. There's no one else like you, Daddy. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a good God. He's a powerful God. He's a good God. I'm trying to put myself together. That's what I can preach for Christ. Right now, let me try to. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' name. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Manga. Ha. Hallelujah. Let me live a life of Christian in public and and, and, and private, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. How are you, everyone? May God bless you. I love you guys. Thank you for always coming through. Most of the people here are consistent. I thank you guys because most of the time you are the ones that you know, if you no know, one, even if there are two people that are watching me, but if there's no one that was able to come here and watch, definitely I could have stopped. But at the end of the day, every time, every time I come to preach, thank you for your support, my sisters, and God bless you. I always appreciate you. I always, I always thank God for you. I always, I, I when I, at my own time, I pray for you guys. I always tell God that Father, may you bless my online viewers. I know they're my sisters, they're my brothers, but I always thank God and say that Father. May you bless them. Every time I come online, I was like, Father, whoever that shall have assigned to listen to the word of God today, may you alone God do exceedingly abundantly at my own time. I spend time when I'm praying. I pray for you guys. I don't take your presence for, for granted. I know we are sisters. I know we are brothers. Some of us are coming from the same ministry. And it's just, uh, as I said, there's, there's a time I was appreciating everyone. I was saying that, you know what? You come here and you sit down, you listen to me. It's just the grace of God because it's not easy. Only sometimes when I want to come on Facebook, I always wonder, like, who's going to listen to me? Who's going to come and listen to me? And I'll just hear that, just go, go and do it. And that's what keeps me coming on and on. Otherwise, if I didn't have viewers, tell me why should I even come? Even if I have one, I appreciate. Even if I have ten, I appreciate. It's not for my for my own glory or to make myself feel no, but it's for the glory of God. Honest, I, I work from Tuesday up to Saturday. Sunday I go to church. Monday is my free day, and Monday I come here to minister the word of God. I, I I'll be like sometimes I pray, God, what word do you want me to go and speak to your people? Sometimes I just feel like most of you guys, most of you guys, because you come from the same ministry, like from, from Bishop Blessing Ministry, like. From the woman of God, Princess Belema, from Pastor Isaac, you, I just feel like maybe we are on the same level. Like, how can I minister to this kind of people? Like, uh, how can I minister to this kind of people? Like, I feel like maybe we are on the same level, but how are they going to understand me? But it's like every time, guys, you come to some of you, ever since I started my video, my, my video, was it last year? Like, you have been coming, some of you remember the time about, I'll, I'll just have you on my line. Just one person watching. But God's grace, as time goes on, people are increasing. And I don't know next time when God tells me to stop, I'll stop. So I really appreciate your presence because right now some of you are at work. You are supposed to be working. 
But you are here listening to me. My God, God bless you. And may God protect you. May God cover you. Honest, I appreciate your time, okay? And I'm so grateful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your prayer answer. Thank you for you. For you keep the fire burning. Thank you, Dorcas. We love you, sis. Thank you, Felicia. Amen. You are looking beautiful, my dear man of God. Thank you, Josephine. Hallelujah. God bless you, my God. Maria, hi. How are you? I'm okay. Mariama, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, <clears throat> so let me tell you. Today, we have a topic concerning making use of your talents. And, you know, there's somebody who was telling me that if you speak too quick, sometimes I don't understand. So, I'll try. You know, my accent now. I'm a Zambian girl. So, I'll try to. So, how many people don't understand me when I'm preaching? My God. How many people don't understand me when I'm preaching? Am I, am, am I too quick? Am I too... Am I, is my English too nice that you can't understand it or what? My God. So, I, I want us to open our Bibles in the book of... In the book of... So, somebody will say that if you speak too quick, especially when they, you start having... While you are preaching, you are getting revelations. Like, you, you try to gather the points together. But in that process, like... You don't see. And the one who was telling me was a Liberian. So I don't know Liberians what I've done to you. <laughs> it is well. I say it is well. So I just want us to open our Bibles in the book of Matthew. Yeah, I was telling you guys today I'm home and I'm not I'm just loving your video. That's right. Let me tell you what happened. You guys, God is faithful, God is amazing. I was, uh, I shared this testimony last, last week on my video. Can't you see that in my phone today looks very beautiful? Ah, Jesus. I used to use this phone. I said it. Or, you know, I was saving money. Actually, I, 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 you know, I, me, I like buying things in cash. I don't like having credits with people, even with the nation. So I was, I was, I was, I, I would save the other side money to buy my phone when I get paid and everything. So when when we are going for the festival fire, actually the church that I go to, the church that I go to, uh, the, the pastor, I, was, I, I saved maybe about 300 because I wanted to just go and buy the phone in cash, everything to pay in advance. So when I was saving the money, I told myself, I, I, I was like, I want to buy the phone. And during, there was a time my pastor from the church I go to, Pastor Jason, he said that he wants to, they want to do something in the church. I don't know to innovate it and everything. Then I was keeping that money. Then I just heard that I just said that you have to remove the money. I heard a voice telling me that you have to remove some of the money and go and sew in church. And I said, but I'm keeping my money for the phone. Don't I give? Like I give now. Then I was like, I just said it was became so strong. So I removed some of the money. Uh, I removed the money from it. I sold it at my church. Then I then I just said that the other money that is remaining, you should use it as offering uh, during the festival fire. So then I was like, but I'm saving this money for my phone, or like I want to save for my phone. Then I, I got it. Then then the then he said the hundred dollar you should use it to give it to the woman of God during the festival of fire. Mm -hmm. Princess Belema did it. So I was like, okay, I did what I had. I had this phone. Can't you see this phone? It's broken. Look, I even had to put suit tape on it. There's suit tape in it so that it should, in order for it to hold. So uh, when I'm coming live, I was coming with this broken phone. Uh, so you know the way God is. So I started feeling like, okay, this phone is like I have to have a phone, but I feel like I started feeling like I'm not. I'm not the one who's supposed to buy this phone. Like I just feel somebody's going to buy for me a phone, but I, so I did as it as it as it happened. I, I did everything when I went to the festival fire. I used the other money for my offering for the festival fire, and the hundred that I was remaining with, I had to sell to the woman of God. I, I told my God, I just had to put it in the basket. So uh, when I was doing the developments for people, so I just wanted to put the money in the basket. So let me tell. So what happened is that when I came during that time, uh, 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 I remember again, Bishop said that you, you you have to give a painful sacrifice at the end of the day. That you have to give a painful sacrifice, and I didn't have what can pain me because I tried to search for what can pain me when I give it as a sacrifice. And the only thing that came is to empty my account. 
I was like, hey, I, I emptied my account. Okay. And by then, I was uh, in my account, I had like six to seven. Is seven seven hundred na dollar, and I was thinking, you know, what am I going to manage? Because that's the last money that I have and everything, and the other money that I came with it in hand, I was supposed to give it out. I I gave it out. I mean, I was supposed to give it at, at the end of the day. So, I, uh, after the program ended, when Bishop said you have to give, so I remained with nothing in my account. I remained, and even the time I was at the festival fire, I didn't have a case. I didn't have like I didn't have money to even come back with my 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 suitcase that i carried my my luggage that i carried for the festival fire and guess what by god's grace because i emptied what i had the money that i had and when the bishop said give a penny for a sacrifice i said my account and everything i gave it away i didn't know that that same particular time i didn't know that i'm the, uh, like i'm going to win for the competition the dancing competition for you people who watch uh, uh, my bishop is my prophet. I love him. Watch the in the time he said that we are going to make a video about festival fire dancing and everything. I did that. You know me. I like those things. And that, by then I didn't I didn't even know that I was one of the winners. And when bishop announced it, he didn't give us just there and then. So he sent it to Wallace. I was I was, He sent it to when I was. I think he sent it. He sent it even before. I didn't have the money. The money didn't yet. It had not yet come before i was at the festival fire right so i didn't have anything and guess what because i i emptied everything my account had nothing and 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 i had nothing my on my on my well my on my physical where i had nothing so in that process the moment i gave the last money because deliverance was taking place the following day the last day and woman of god was doing her deliverance to people and guess what happened and the last money I, I wanted to i never wanted to give it away to the man of god because i was thinking that well how am i going to carry back the luggage because that was the last money for me now to give it to her to sow to sow so when i did that can you imagine it's like god brought josh i don't know if people know josh and josh was like if to my sister i'm just led to give you a hundred dollars what is i remain with you of the money that I had, I gave it away. So it's like God provided for me to have the money to do it because the money that was in account, I didn't touch it because definitely it was going to Bishop. And by then, Bishop, uh, it was going as a sacrificial offering. And by then, Bishop, had, in the money that he, we won, it had not yet come in the account. So definitely I had nothing. And God provided for me. I provided for me through Josh. Josh gave me a hundred dollars. That's how I used it to even bring back my luggage from the festival fire. So for me, I just thank God because, like, the moment I was thinking, because I didn't know who's going to give me money during the festival fire after I emptied everything. But at the end of the day, God made it possible, and Josh gave me the very hundred that I sold, the last money that I sold to the man of God, which I never wanted to sell. And and guess what? I'm now coming to the front. And during that process, somebody was calling me. The man that came, there's this man who came to visit my home last year. Last year, they came to see my auntie. And me, I was just coming from work. And I found, and this lady was explaining about her situation. The baby had a two months baby, two months baby. So when they feed the baby, they, the food would come out of the nose. When you feed the baby, the food would come out of the nose. So when she was explaining that to my auntie, then I told her that to my mom. I saw her, my mom. She's my auntie and mom. So uh, when I uh, when I, I she was explaining that, I was just led. I told my auntie, telling her, "Can you can you tell her that maybe she'll give me? I pray for the child." Then my my mom was like, "Okay, let me tell her to if she can pray for the child." So she told the friend that she wants to pray for the child. And they, it happened at that particular time, the husband walked in, they came to pick them so that they should go home. So when I held the baby, I prayed for the child. That was last year, last year. I don't even remember the family says. And when when I prayed for the child, that was like last year, September, something like that. I think, I don't know if it's June, April, something like that, but it was last year, I forgot it. I prayed for the child and the child... The baby was healed. I definitely, I didn't even have time. Like, I, 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 I just had to ask my mom if the child was healed. Then I was like, ah, I've not asked them if the child is well and everything. Not knowing that that man has been looking for my number. The man that I prayed for, for the daughter, for the baby, he has been looking for my number. He didn't know how to get it. So he asked my auntie that I'm asking for your niece's uh, number. I want her to pray for me. And don't think that that's the way she just wanted to get, he wanted to get my number. So this man has been calling me. I've not been picking up the phone. Not until he, he sent a text 
telling me that ah uh, this is a man that you prayed for the for the for the baby who used to when you feed that the baby the food would come out then I was oh yeah how are you then I was like I'm fine then I used to address the checks then I was like how is the baby that the baby has been fine he has been fine ever since then I was oh we thank God and I and I ignored it not knowing that you know God answers in many ways remember I've been wanting a phone right and I, I and the money that I had I had to give away everything. And guess what? This man, this man, he what this man said. He came to me and was like, well, uh, what do you want me to do for you? Like the thing that I, the, the time I prayed for the daughter, he, he saw the seed, he gave me a hundred dollar, which uh, it was good, I thank God. But I didn't know that one day maybe we look for, maybe forgot about this. Because when you pray for people, I don't like they should be, become a burden and everything. No. So this man not only has been looking for me, has been looking for me. So later, guess what this man said? He was like, and he was like, what should I do for you? And my people. And I was praying to God, I thought, okay, Father, my phone, somebody has to buy it. I was like, what should I do for you? Then I was like, ah, I'll, this man, I'll tell him that I want the phone. Eh? He was like, I'm like, but I don't want to be, I mean, I'm not an asking person. I was like, I just kept quiet. I was like, I'll tell him that next week is my birthday. But I was just like, I was, I was fighting because that's not the way I am. I'm not the kind of person who asks, no, I would like asking, no. So guess what this man that what this man did? I was like, I'll tell him that his next week is my birthday. And he himself even asked me, when is your birthday? Then I, and that was like next week is my birthday. And I was like, next week is my birthday. And guess what this man said? I was like, what do you want me to do for you? Uh, should I take you out? Uh, no, I'm not an outing person. I don't like much of outing. My video is growing. It's growing. I'm not an out in person. Then I was like, please, what do you want? Like, he wanted to help. Like, he really wanted to do something. Maybe because of what I prayed for the daughter. He really wanted to do something. He was Alice. You can tell that. So, when I asked that man, I, I was like, ah. Anyway, uh, once, I just want, uh, he said it because I didn't know. I was like, I just want, for my birthday, I just want, uh, then I was like, please say. Then I was like, I want to, uh, a phone. Then I was like, what, what kind of a phone? Like he was tireless. He just wanted to help me to do something for me, to just show appreciation of the time I prayed for the daughter. Then I was like, uh, uh, I got a screenshot of J7 and J8. <laughs> then I was like, yeah. then he said, which phone, please? I send it to him. Can you can you imagine? I didn't even take him serious. I was just doing it, you know. The time I was preaching, okay. The, the time I was preaching, how I forget? I think I've got it. Oh, why you're not talking? Oh, so like the time I was I was on my live video when I was like two weeks ago. Last week I had a guest, but two weeks like that other week I was on my live phone. This man brought me. Then uh, before that, he started saying, "What phone do you want? To, you do want?" Then I was like, "Then I was like, what okay, what?" Then I was like, "I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say." And guess what? Then he asked me, "Do you want phone J eight? Then I was like, "I don't mind. I use J seven, but I don't mind having J eight. I didn't take him serious anyway." And guess what? This is uh, and guess what happened? So guess what happened? When I was preaching on Monday, I, I was in my room preaching, and this man knocked on the door eh, and brought me a phone. J8, guys, I, I'm just explaining. J8, remember the money that I had at first that I was saving to buy a phone. I sold it as a seed. Let me tell you, even if I saw that I could not have bought J8, I could have just gone back to J7, I mean, Samsung 7. I could have just gone back to Samsung 7. But it's like God saw me. That phone came back even on a better way, even than even the money that I was saving for my phone. That's how God answers prayer. Remember those obedience in everything that I did and the faith that I saw. I'm telling you, God is faithful. God is amazing. And this is, oh, after that, I was praying even if I should be my birthday present. And it was a birthday present. It was a birthday present. And last year, sometimes, you know, sometimes when you ask God, last year I was praying that, Father, I want your glory to be made manifest. The glory of God, I want it to show physically. Like, I want to see the glory of God. That was my prayer I had for my birthday present. That's what I told God. And I also told God I want my hospital bills to be paid because I had like 11,000, 21,000, 21, 
thousand something US dollar for my hospital bill that the Tamils admitted. And I didn't know how to pay. I told God that I want my bills to be paid. That would be my birthday present. And I want your glory to be made real, to be shown, manifest. Real, I want to see it. And guess what? Sometimes I'm just encouraging someone. Sometimes we think as if God doesn't answer our prayers. Oh, oh before I go further, when he, he answered me with the phone, then he told me that, you know what? You asked for a phone and it has manifested physically. So imagine when you ask for things that are spiritual, you think as if they are all answered. It's just because you can't see them physically so the phone has been man you have seen it physically because you asked for it then i was like my father you're good so that was this year's birthday and i believe that I, and this birthday everyone wished me a birthday i was so grateful guys you guys made my day i was crying i was while submitting the messages i was like oh my god i was like thank you jesus i was i was overwhelmed so thank you so much guys for celebrating my birthday i know it we are still in june so it's still my birthday now so uh last year i just want to tell you i'm just encouraging you and sharing my testimony last year i was telling god the father i want my hospital to build to be paid and before my birthday do you know that my hospital bill was paid and i also asked that father i want you let me show you i want your glory to be made manifest real i want to see it i was saying that god i want the way you know the way the woman of god you see the glory cover her i was just saying that i also want the same thing to happen to me on the twin, because my battle is on the 13th of june on the fourth on the on the 12th of june look at what god did to me when you ask something when god knows your heart look i uh, i had i received a call from a friend diana and when she was talking to me, I noticed something about my my picture. Then I was like, ah, what is happening? Like I was looking at my camera. Then I was trying to move out of the place, but it was like the presence was still following me everywhere I'm going. Then I ended up, look, look. Have you seen how I was covered? I was covered with the glory of God. Like, I don't know if you can see it. See, see, I was surprised. Like, can you imagine that behind there, there was even a door? Can you see here there is a black thing? It was covered with the glory of God. It's what I asked from God. Look, look. And there was a point that it was even worse. Look, look. Look my hands. Just look at my hands. Like they were covered in the glory of God. Like, see, I even started posing. I even started posing there like this. And guess how I got this picture? Look. No, this one is. Look, look. Look. This is what happened to me. Can you imagine, even the person that was there, Diana, look at, she was surprised, look at her, she was surprised, because she, she, it was like something that we didn't expect it, and look, look how my face was, it was inside the world, look at my head, I was shining, I was like my father, and I know that every time, this was my birthday present, this is what I asked for, and I wrote some things that I wanted to see, and I've seen them manifesting, I'm just showing you these guys, especially this one, look, look, my hands. I was looking at my hand. I was like, ah, oh, Father, you are sweet. Oh, look, look at my hair. And can you imagine that like, behind that side, there was a door. There's a door. If you can see it a little bit here, there's a little bit dark. There's a door behind there. Whatever that you ask for, God for, God is able to do it. He, all you need is your faith. All you need is to. And you know what? When I was getting, do you know how I got these pictures? Like, as we are talking, both of us, we are shocked. Like, we are surprised. Even me, I was just there and getting surprised to go and ask for it. But guess what happened? So I told Diana, like, Diana, do screenshot. That's how I, I that's how I got this, this one. Can you see it was like a video chat? Look. So then I was like, do screenshot, do screenshot. So she started doing screenshot. She started doing screenshot. This is how I got this. And then she forwarded to me. Because when you're doing screenshot, the people that are in somebody who you are, you are talking to their their picture is bigger than you uh, view right so i wanted her to get her a screenshot so that's how she started doing screenshots she did yes yeah, diana i was like do screenshot that's how it is guys there's nothing that is impossible with god and looking at what we the teaching that we have been going through by the men of god the women of god we look at the, uh, the what our bishop teaches my bishop my prophet we look at uh, uh, i i i i I respect him is my daddy and and you look at the woman of God and what he teaches us. Like they have built us, trained us. Only even me preaching out here. It's just I know as much men that 
And the first time I came here, I was just talking my own things. But when I came across that video, do you know when I came across that video, I just heard that, do you know that you can also do this? And, uh, and one day I was praying at night because, you know, I was praying, praying. This time I also pray for you guys. I was praying. I was praying in the night. And I just heard that. Go and do it. Go on live. Then I go and go on live to do what? Go and do what? Then I go and preach. Then I said, I had to do what? Now who's going to listen to me? And I came, preach, preach. I think my, my first video that I preached when, when I heard God telling me that, do you know that you can also do that? It was like a three minutes. It was a 16 minutes video that I did. And from that time, I never used to come consistent on live video. I never used to come consistent. One week, I'll come after some time. But this time, I was like, Father, because I don't work on Monday, let me dedicate a Monday for you. And let me dedicate a Monday for you. And this is how I've been coming up to then. I've just been coming throughout. I've been coming by God's grace. It's like every time he gives me the message, what to preach about. And it's it, honest, guys, if I tell you that it's easier to be frank, it's not easy. But it's just, it's just the grace of God. When the grace of God is upon you. And from that time, like I've been learning, I've been coming to know new things. Every time you dedicate yourself before God, he teaches you even more things. Even more things, hallelujah. My God, Rabbi Sunday Kata. See me now. I know I'm not yet there, but by God's grace, one day I'll be there. And this was my first live video. It was, uh, I was praying in the night. And you know, even the street, that, look at. I was not, by then, by then, you know, by then I was not even sharp. Look, I was just. I was just like even confidence has been built. Look, this was my first video that I did. This can't you even see that I'm even in the night in where? I was even having my night scene because you know it was my first time. Look at by then I got even built courage in myself. You can tell, look at from my face, that I had no courage. And from that time, by God's grace, I've been coming. Sometimes I would come on Facebook. Only one person is watching me. But I'll just say, Father, have you really called me to come and do these things? And I'll just say that, go on, preach. There was a time, let me tell you, there was a time I was preaching. There was a time I was preaching. Like I was there all alone. I, I, as I'm saying, I appreciate even the few that are watching me right now. There was a time I was all alone, preaching, preaching. Nobody was there to watch me. No one was there. And I was just preaching, preaching. And after I was done, I went and sat down. And I was like, have you recorded me to do this? Why was nobody watching me? And there was no any share on that video to tell you the truth. I was just like, why was nobody watching me? And when I sat down, I just heard a call from some one woman. One woman, then she told me that, Yvette, like I was sitting asking my question, I just said, Yvette, the way, like the way you worship God, don't stop, you just encourage us to do the same thing, like, eh, eh? And I was like, eh, no, I was like, eh, no, I was even about to stop preaching on Facebook. <laughs> I was like, no, I was even about to stop preaching on Facebook, I was just saying, yeah, because I just got discouraged, nobody was watching me. And you know, like, God started rebuking me, I was like, Yvette, when you go on Facebook, Sometimes when you are preaching, necessarily it's not sometimes that people have to watch. They're not the people that are watching that is well, it may not be you and it may not be somebody watching you, but somebody is going to view that video, he's going to view it later. But that particular time we are feeling like nobody was watching me, but it was not for maybe anyone that was watching, it was someone who's going to watch later. So sometimes you when God is calling you to do something. Sometimes when God is telling, is, is telling you to do something, you ask yourself, who's going to watch me? I, I'm just encouraging you now. Who's going to watch me? Who's going to listen to my words? Sometimes when God sends you, just go and do it. Just go and do it. So let me tell you, when I was there, because I was about to stop doing my live video just then, then, that was my last day. I used to see you, then I met you at the festival fire one year ago. My God, you see? Thank you, Dakas, Natalia, grace to gra grace to grace. Hallelujah. You're welcome, sis. So when 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 I when I when I when I was doing that, like when I, when I was 
I, was, I, I started hearing that God was God was rebuking me. Then I was like, Father, I'm going to stop. Only I was saying, God, I'm not right now. I remember I'm forcing myself to come on Facebook. Then he started telling me that it's not you. You may you, you may know it's not necessary for somebody who's watching you there because by then no one was watching me. Then after one hour, he told me go and check the same video that you are doing. When I went to check the video that I was doing, can you imagine what happened? I found there were about, is it 10 shares, a video that had no viewer. I found 10 shares. And I, when I saw that, I started telling that I'm, all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I know I was doing it out of emotion. And I know I felt bad because how can I come on Facebook? You're telling me to come on Facebook, but I don't know. Then no one is watching me. I started telling that, Father, I'm sorry for doubting you. I'm sorry. I'm doing it on my, like, I, I feel like it is I'm doing it. I'm doing it on my own, but Lord, I understand. Like he told me, go back and check. After one hour, go back and check. I and check the video that you did. And when I want to check, I found ten shares. As my father, I started crying. I like, Father, I'm sorry. I took it on a personal base. I was just thinking like maybe nobody's watching me. Nobody's seeing me. No one is coming through to come and watch my video. Sorry, Lord. I started repenting and asking. Sometimes for most some people preachers so here on Facebook, you can have two viewers and everything. Sometimes you feel decide. But it's not do you know the Bible says the heavens rejoice only when one soul, one soul comes to God. So my dear my sister, you can you can be here, but you just minister a word to somebody and it comes to God. The heavens is rejoicing. My God, Rabbi Sunday. How are you, sister Susanna? I'm gonna God. God bless you, sis. So I'm talking to some of us here. I, I tell this is also heading to my teaching today. My teaching today is making use of the talents that you have. I was asking myself because I was I was just noticing something about myself. It's like some talents that I have, I'm discovering them. I, I'm discovering more. I know I'm a comedian. I know I do those things. And you know what? Sometimes let me tell you what happens with comments. With what I do for me. Sometimes I just feel like, okay, is it? I'll just start doing my own stuff. Not that maybe something. And sometimes I may talk something, not knowing that it will make somebody laugh because it is already that it is something that God has already put in me. So the same the talents of me making comment. How is it glorifying God? How is it coming forth? Because there's some comment. Let me tell you. We have to make use of what God has put in us. Some of us, God has put you a gift of singing in your life. What do you sing? Are you just there to sing world music, secular music? Or are you there to minister, to sing through? Are you there to, to minister the word of God through? Are you, are you there to minister the word of God by you singing? Let, let me give a the best example I'll give is myself. I said, at first, by God's grace, I'm able to preach. And this is not something that I used to do, but it came on and on. By God's grace, I can I do comedy uh, when it comes. By God's grace, I can dance. So, by God's grace, I can sing. Like all those things, I can do them. And so, by God's grace, I know how to. I can. Uh, like God has given me the grace on how to encourage people. By God's grace, especially the young people, like he has given me the grace, even the other ones, but I do good with the young people because I feel like God has wired me and made me to be that kind of a person like the for, for most of the people. I, I do with both. I'm not saying I don't do with it. I deal with both, but at the end of the day, most of the time, even when I'm talking to a young person, I act like them because if you want, let me tell you, I remember back home, because back on the, those people call that we used to call them the Caponias, they talk in a certain way. Like when I'm to, when you're talking to them, they talk like, Hi sister, how are you? How are you doing? We just like the others are coming, we, we just want to we, I, I just love you the way you you know other people, the way you're shaking, I love your body. Then I'll use the same language to talk to them, oh brother, you know, why do you like why? Like I'm being I'm talking like them and in that process as I'm talking like them, I'm being later what to come in is the word of God. Later what to come in is for me. I'll start speaking the word of God using their language. So at the end of the day, how is my everything that God has but has parted me with bringing glory to God? Some of you, when you watch me doing comments, you will laugh. You make the time I made for Bishop the, the Bishop vision. Most of you were laughing. Most of you were maybe that time when you came across. Some of you were sad, but when you came across that video, and it's not something that I even planned to do. Like it just came. Like, Let me try to do what Bishop does, and I found that I was doing it. And and when he, I posted that, it's like a lot of people were laughing. Why? And they were happy because that's the thing.
thing that God has put in you to make people happy, those that are sad. Most, some of you that I've talked to you in person, like, I, 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 I've talked to you, I've loved to you and everything. I know how to talk to you. Like, it's, it's something that God has put in me. So I came to encourage you, what is it that God has put inside you? What is it that God has put? Discover what God has put inside you. Some of you, maybe you came across to know me because you saw me doing comment and you sent me, maybe you made me, but you see, I did comment and you, maybe it was shared. Maybe like you sent a friend request. Why? Because maybe, and from that time, maybe you discovered, oh, I can preach her. Like Docas, Docas said that she just used to see me, but she met me at the festival fire. She just used to see me. She was not, I didn't even know her and everything. But I, when we met to the festival fire, it's like sometimes God put something in you to attract certain people. And when they say, there's, there's some people who think as if church is boring. But as I did at first, I started by dancing. They're like, ah, so even Christians can dance like this. Oh, so even in the house of God, people can dance like this. Okay, let me try to try to connect what happened. From that time, you find that somebody, you find that from that time, somebody comes to know Christ. They get attracted. They'll be like, ah, so you can dance, so you can preach. Also, it means that when you're dancing for God so much, it cannot affect your Christianity life. It's a, the problem that the enemy has made us feel like Christianity is boring. And most of the Christians are making it feel boring. God is not a boring father. He's a good father. He's a faithful father. In the name of Jesus, how are you, sis? We see how the God bless you. So well, today, I just want to talk about making use of the talent. And we are from the first that the man of God, Mrs. Belema Bide, was talking about, uh, 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 was talking about God, make me useful. So how are we going to do, uh, we have to allow God to make us useful or, 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 or to what he has already put in us. My God, Rabbi Sun Yekata. So I want us to open our Bibles in the book of uh, uh, Matthew. If you have a Bible, you can post for me. May God bless you. I'm using NKJV. NKJV version. So let me, we are going to talk about the talents, what God has put inside you. And when she was explaining it, I was like, wow, like this message, I really wanted to preach it. Now, um, in, in the book of Matthew 25, I'll start from 14. That's the Bible says, for the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called, who called his own servant and delivered his good to them. And to one he gave them five talents, five talents, to the other two, to, the, to, to another two, and to the other one, two according to their ability and uh, their own ability. And immediately he went on his journey. Let me tell you, here the Bible says, I know this is a story that you have been, we have read, the Bible never fails, it always gives us a different revelation. I know you pick something from this. Here, this is a master. I'll give an example. This master is Jesus. The time Jesus, we hear the Bible says, the master was about to travel to a very far country. And before doing that, he had to leave uh, uh, his goods uh, to servants. To three servants. The other one, the other one, he gave him five. The other one, hey, Elisha, the God bless you, sis. And the other one, he gave them two. The other one, he gave them one. Listen, this master was already with his servants. So even while he was working with them, he knew their what their abilities, what they can do, what they were able to do, how they are able to function. He knew their ability. Why? Because he was able to work with them even for a long time before leaving those assignments, before leaving those goods for them. This is an example of Jesus. When Jesus was on earth, he had to the time he was ascending, going to heaven. He had to leave some responsibilities to what? To his disciples. And guess what? The time he was leaving, he called Peter. Listen, God is faithful. This is the story of Jesus. He called Peter and said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter responded in the Bible, is this in the book of John? Yes. The Bible, he says that, do you love me? And, and, and Peter said, yes, I love you, Lord. Jesus looked at, at Peter again and said, Peter, do you love me? Uh, and, and at first when Jesus said, Peter, do you love me? Then he said, yes, Lord, I love you. And God, and God said, that, take care of my sheep. Peter, do you love me? That was the second question. And Peter said that, yes, Lord, I love you. You know I love you. Then he said, take care of my lamb. 
Then again, Jesus asked, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, he, Peter was uh, was grieved by what Jesus was saying. Then, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Then, then, then the Bible says that, feed my sheep. You know, there were a lot of disciples there. He, but he had to put a certain assignment on Peter. Remember, this is the same Peter that God said that I knew I uh, 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 when Peter when Jesus was asking the disciples, "Who do people call I am?" and Peter were, and uh, the disciples were saying, "Others they call that you Elijah, others they say that you are one of those prophets." But it is only Peter that came before God and said that you are the Messiah, the Son of the Most High God. Sorry, guys, the Son of the Most High God. And guess what happened? Then Jesus said that because he knew, he wanted to establish, he knew that Peter, he knows what he's talking about. Peter has come to a point of understanding who I am. Therefore, Jesus said that, Peter, upon you, Peter, which me, fresh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father. And then he said that, Peter, sorry guys. Oh my God, I don't know why. I don't know why I stepped. Hey, what did I step? Okay, sorry. Then he said, Peter, upon this one, I'll build my rock, my rock on you, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And I've given you the keys to trample. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to. Okay. And he said that, Peter, upon you, I'm building up my rock, I'm building up a church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. So, guess what happened? Peter, when, when, when Jesus, he knew that, okay, I can trust Peter because Peter knows me. All these disciples, they know me like one of those prophets. All these, the, the disciples that I have, they just know that I, I'm like Jeremiah because they didn't know, they didn't have a personal understanding of me. So the time Jesus was leaving, he, he was speaking to Peter that like, Peter, he has to take care of the sheep. He has to feed the sheep. He has to take care of the, lam the, the lambs. And Jesus, and, the, and this is what happened. So he gave them, oh yes, the disciples. And the time he was ascending, do you know what he said? Go and make disciples of many nations. That was, uh, uh, that was like an assignment for everyone. But there was a specific assignment that Peter was given. Hallelujah. So here I'm just connecting to the, to the, to the story that we are talking about here. Because his servant, Jesus knew, because he was with, his, his them, with them, he knew the, what they are capable of doing, who they are, what they can do. He knew what they were. And so therefore he gave them an assignment for every, he gave them a specific assignment. A specific assignment. So here the master is in himself. He knew that, okay, these are my three servants. They have been working with me. And right now, because I know each and everyone's strength, therefore what I'll do, I'll leave them according to their, what, their abilities. So each and everyone that, everyone that is watching us here, God has put a certain thing in, in our lives because he has already measured us. He knows us. Even the time he was creating us, he already knew that this is how I'm going to fashion. This is how I'm going to make get rid. This is how I'm going to make Elisha. This is how I'm going to make Dorcas Priscilla. This is how I'm going to make them. And I've measured their strength. And I know, I know what they are capable. Therefore, I will leave them with this assignment. My God. So, listen, the Bible says, then he gave them, the other one five, According to your ability, the other one two, the other one one. Then the Bible says, Then he who had received five talents went and traded with them, and and he made another five. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more. Hmm. Let me talk to you about these two servants. When God left, when God left this two, this this, this servant, according to their abilities, according to their strength, according to how He wired them, according to how He created them, do you know what He did? These two servants, the one who received the five talents and the one who received the two talents, what they did, they went to make use of those talents that God gave them. They went to make use of those two the, the, the talents. What am I talking about? Let me give you a practical example. As I said myself, I don't know what anyone, everyone here you are good at. For example, me, I know that by God's grace, he has given me grace to, even when I'm given service, I can function in any, any category. I can usher without, as if I'm, I've been there, like I can do camera, like I'm, I'm, I've been there forever. I can 
I can sing, right? I can sing. I used to, I remember back when I used to be in the choir, Asha, 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 friend. And I know by God's grace again, I, by God's grace, God is using me, I'm preaching right now. And again, by God's grace, he has also, he's, he has anointed me even to do deliverance. Do I don't do it online. By, when God leads me, I'll start doing it. I do it. God will call me, I do. And he has led me to do that. By God's grace again. I can do, I can, I can come here and uh, like I can come here and preach. By God's grace, I can also dance. I, I know how to dance. You know guys like me, I like dancing. You know, most of you know me that I like dancing and I enjoy it. Uh, by God's grace, he has put me. I, I'm just giving an example. So there is dancing in me. I can preach the word of God by God's grace. I can, I can do camera by God's grace. I can, I'm giving an example of the things that I do. I can sing and I can I can encourage people. I can do deliverance. I don't know. Some more I'm still discovering the things, right? I'm still discovering what what more over what God has put in my life. So listen, these are the talents that I have. And because of He has given me the five talents, as I said at first, I said these five talents, there's some people that who will never come to know God, not until they find somebody who dance. So you find that that thing at that particular time when God tells me to dance, because it is there is somebody who is going who is not going to come to no class because they hear me preach like I'm preaching right now, but they will come to no class because they know, they saw me dancing. So imagine so that because of my five talents that I have, the talent of dancing, somebody will come to no class because of dancing. They will come to know that okay, so serving God is never boring. So serving God, you can dance, eh? So serving God, so that person who is not motivated by dancing my god hope you're understanding me and the other one others are not even motivated by anything that i do but they'll be motivated by seeing me just holding camera the way i hold camera with passion and like with how i'm serving god they just love the way i do it and they want to know more and they're studying me you find that somebody just loves the way i do service and at the end of the day i'm using that service somebody's coming to know christ that's another talent. And the other talent, for example, God has also imposed in me to preach. Some people that have never seen me dance, that have never heard me read, that have never heard me uh, doing anything, that the only, only way maybe they are passing by Facebook, and they saw me, this young, beautiful girl, preaching on Facebook, and they'll be like, let me try to listen to this girl. The preaching itself has attracted, remember, I'm attracting people with different talents according to what they love, according to what they do. There are others who are dancers, they want to learn some moves, and when they come to know, they will discover, ah, so this girl was dancing a gospel music, I didn't know that they were dancing gospel, so you can dance in the house of God like this, I'm making use of that talent, my God, hope you're understanding what I'm saying, and someone, and someone will be like, ah, let me just come across the video, they see me preaching, this person has never seen me dance, he has never seen me comment, making comments, he has never done anything, but they are only attracted by what, by the preaching that I'm speaking, and that I'm using it to attract the people to the kingdom of God, not for me, but for the glory of God. And you know, most of you know that I like dancing. You know that I also love comedy. Sometimes maybe someone didn't even know God. Who be like, uh, like the video that I made for Bishop when I was dancing. You know, guys. Maybe that person has never even seen me. Has never even heard about me. Has never. But he comes across a video that I just dance, making comedy. Who be like. Ha, what is this girl doing? Not knowing that that comment was in form of, it was in a godly way. It was a, and that person comes to know God because of comedy. These are, these are my five talents that God has put me with. I'm just saying, in case you, you guys, you people that are watching right now, what is it that God has put in you? Maybe it's a gift of encouragement. Maybe all those things, encouragement, uh, singing, ministering, God of God, they are all inside you. They are all inside you. But how are you making use? How are you attracting different categories of people depending? Because me, are, for example, me, I attract people who love comments. I attract people, even those who don't love, they just love laughing. Others, they get healed from my comment. Maybe somebody was broken. When they see they come across, I'm making those comments. Somebody feels happy. Like somebody here loves me, the way I dance. They can't wait for me to dance because they feel good when they see me dance. Maybe they are broken. But when they come across my video, they will start laughing. They get their healing. I'm making use of the talents. 
I enjoy it. I'm not saying that I do it because I want. I enjoy it. I love it. And maybe that's why. That's why why it even makes you laugh because it is already in me. That's why even when I say something, it makes you laugh. Why? Because it is something that is already in me. If it was something that I was forcing myself to do, it would have been hard. I could not have been making you laugh. It could have been hard for you to laugh because it's not something that is in me. That's one of the talent that God has put in my life. So I'm asking you. This uh, this is an example of the talents that go in that you, the servant go in. I mean, the master left for his servant. Even the second servant. That's why the second servant. Maybe you. I'll give an example of um, Esther. Uh, Esther. Uh, for you, Esther. For example, she has a talent of what can I say? A talent of encouraging people, and and a talent of. Um, a, a, a talent of dancing too. A talent of dancing too. I'm not going to say that Esther because you have the talent of encouraging people and dancing. I'm going and and maybe the talent of dancing and encouraging people. I should say okay. Uh, my God, let me go back to the first. Okay, let me say this one. I cannot say that because Esther has got the talent of encouraging people and uh, dancing that. You are not supposed to. Uh, you are not. You have to do it because those are what God has put in you. Because let me tell you, when you make use of one talent, you don't. For example, if I make use of four, four talents, I don't make the other one useful. How about people that are connected to that talent that are not making useful? For example, if I'm making use of uh, preaching, uh, dancing, and everything, I'm not making use of the comment that of the comment one because there are some people that will come to know Christ because of the comment talent that I have. But it means that those people that are supposed to come to know God through my comment, they will not come to know God through my comment. Why? Because a certain category of people are not expressing what God has put in me. There's something so uh, in as much as I'll trust people that love dancing, I will trust people that wants to hear the preaching, I will trust people that love singing, I will trust, but there are some people that are not attract the people that love comment. So you find there's a category of people that are not connecting to what you are doing. Why? Because you're not doing it. So in as much as you minister the word of God, in as much as I can minister the word of God, am I also making use of the other thing, of the dancing? Because some people never, as I said, some people never come to know Christ because they heard me preach. No, some people come to know Christ because they saw me dancing. And that dancing, I'll use it to proclaim the word to them. And God has word each and every one. Some of you maybe have 20. It's possible to have 20. It's possible to have 50. Are you making use of the 50? Make sure you make use of all the 50. Because for God to give you that, he knows the kind of people that he has put in line with you. He knows the kind of people that have to come to know Christ because of what you have. My God. There are times I'll tell my book, the Shekinah Glory, I tell them that, you know what, uh, yeah, that evangelism is strategically. I'll bring some people to Christ because they heard me preach. I'll bring some people because they saw me doing comedy. Others, they saw me dancing. Others, they saw me ministering. Others, they just saw me doing something. I'll bring people, different categories of people. My God. So, here the Bible says, that's why when you God has put you something, don't fight. It's not, you're not in the right position of fighting your friends. And let me tell you, you know, like, even if I love dancing, maybe there's a way I dance. Maybe I'll give an example of who else. Okay, Alicia. I'll give an example of Alicia. Maybe she likes dancing, you know, slow songs, slow songs. Yeah, I love dancing fast songs, fast songs. So even depending to what, I can be a dancer. Anna, you can be a dancer too, but we are dancing in a different way. And there are some people that are going to attract it. That's what I was telling my sister Matadi. I was telling her about the talents. I was like, there are some people that are going to be attracted. Oh, she's in Kemet. There are some people that are going to be attracted depending to what we have. Like, we have if it's dancing. So, for example, if I love dancing, maybe Anna, you also love dancing. The way we dance is different. The grace is there for us, both of us, to dance. But the way I throw is not the way you throw. The way the songs that I love is not the songs that I love. That's why even when God has put something in your life, for example, you have been called to sing. Maybe for you, singing quite okay. We're in the same category. 
tired of singing. Maybe me worshiping. Maybe me worshiping him like a dear man of God. I was just mentioning you. So maybe me worshiping God is not a matter of saying hallelujah. Maybe me my worshiping God is my local language because there are some people who know my language. Maybe I have to speak a different language. I have to speak it in a different way. And can't you see that even musicians, right? Let me give you an example of musicians. It's not every musician that speaks, they sing the song. There are others who, who, who minister the word of God through rap. So be like, I don't know, Jesus, you will love me. Jesus, you die, and Jesus, I will love you. You know, you die for me and you die for me. You know, those are kind of dancers. The others who are not good into that. Others will be like, Hallelujah. You are holy. Holy. Others will be like, Yes, Jesus, I could love you. Just that you love me. I love you so much. You know, you know that those people who like rapping. You know, you die for me and you die for me. Yes, now nah, I'm trying. So, because there are people, God has wired us in a different way. There are others who love, who love rap gospel. There are others who love uh, gospel just for shaking, like some of us. There are others who love gospel that is slow. Depending, both, both of us, we are called similar. We are musicians. We are called to sing. But even the way we sing, we sing it different. Why? Because there are different kind of people that God has put in our lives. Even the way I do comment. Okay, for example, you know Lineta and myself. The way Lineta does a comment and the way I do my comment is different. I know Lineta can't go and dance the way I dance. I don't know if my video is growing. Lineta can't go and dance the way I dance to Bishop the way. No, Lineta's got her own way. I'm just giving an example of Lineta because most of the people that's how we know, we know her. And the way I do my own thing is different. But at the end of the day, most of you people make it makes you laugh. And some of you maybe you don't enjoy it when I do it because that's not the way you like it. Maybe others you enjoy it when Lineta does it. Why? Because we are different. Because there's some people that I'm not going to attach them they're going to be connected to what she does so i came to encourage you that even whatever that you do don't compare yourself with somebody else because you have your own flow i have my own flow if i go and do what Lineta does i'll fall i will admit it won't, it won't even be funny even how when she comes to do what i do it won't be funny why because that's not how god has wired us god has wired us we are both comedians but in a different way and the way she does it, it's different from I do it. But remember, we are all comedians. Even when you are preaching the word of God, the way I preach is different from somebody the way they preach. Maybe the way I preach is something else. And now somebody, that's how God has wired us. Remember, we are all preachers, but different way. That's why even when God was, was assigning the disciples, say that uh, uh, go and make disciples of many nations, but I tell them, they go and make disciples, they go and make them disciples of many nations. Meaning that in as much as they were disciples, but Peter was able to receive a large responsibility because God had already seen Peter, what he was able to do. That's why he was able to tell him, Peter, do you love me? Take care of my sheep. He didn't tell any of his disciples, but not that these other disciples were not powerful. They were powerful, but he gave them different responsibilities. My God, Rabbi Zunde Katasya Kato. That's why it's so discouraging when you find you're fighting one another. You're fighting your sister. You're fighting your brother. Why are you fighting? Why are we fighting? We are doing it for the glory of God. If I see my GP, I've got right now, and I see six people. If I can see that I've got someone has 20 people, I'm not going to fight because at the end of the day, she's there. The way she's being wired, it's not the way I'm wired. It's not the way she's wired. And so let me be my own reign. Because maybe if I'm given 50 people to come here right now, maybe I can't handle them. But as God sees me growing, growing, he brings different kind of people in my life. Why? He brings them more because he's seen my, my maturity, how I'm growing in the things of God. We have to be content to what God has given us. We have to be content and flow in your own flow. Be in your own reign. Do no, do what you can do just for the glory of God. My God, Rabbi Zunde Kata. So I'll go to verse 17. The Bible says, uh, 16, Then he who had received five talents went on and traded with the earth, with them, uh, 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 with them, and made other five talents. Let me tell you about this one too. This, 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 this servant 
who had five talents more, he went to trade and said he brought five more. Meaning that he went to bring out people who are, what can I say? People who are doing, who are connected to his talent. So he brought the exact people, the same talents that God has given him. For example, he brought the comedians, he brought the comedians, he brought the musicians, he, got, he brought the preachers, he brought, because that's what he has. So he went to bring the very thing that he has in him, he has in her, he has in her, the comedians. In as much maybe she touched or he touched a lot of people, but he flowed in his own calling. My God. So he brought the comedian because he brought the exact five that he had put. He did not bring maybe extra. He got the exact of what he already had inside him. My God. And five, you know, there's two. Two says that. I mean, 16, that's it. He went and received five talents and went traded with them. Meaning he went to make use of all the five, all the comedy, all the dancing, all the preaching. He went to make use and he brought back the comedians who are in say, the same category. He brought back all those people together. He brought the preachers together. He brought all those people together. And the 17th said, and likewise, he who had received two, he had received two, gained two more. So you find that that person that God has put the gift of, the gift of, the gift of, the gift of, Dancing, I'm using dancing because that's what I do. Dancing, preaching. He had he, the same to went and did the same thing. He brought back, drew the same people, the same category of people that he had put in him. Listen, even Jesus, when he came on earth, he produced himself in his in the disciples. Meaning that if God had given God is God, Jesus is God. I'm just giving an example. Jesus had the talent. For example, his talent, his talent was to win souls and to, to he was a disciple he was he was a servant and he was a master he's god he's the same yesterday today forever more he's the master he's he was 100 percent man 100 percent god so himself had to, to produce himself in what he needs disciples and the disciples started looking like him if you want to see that he bet how did they start looking at him do you remember the story of judah the, the story the time judas was about was was about to betray jesus and the soldiers, they didn't know who Jesus was. When he was among them, Jesus, Judas, because he was with Jesus, he told them that the man that I'm going to kiss, that is the man. The man that I'm going to kiss, that is Jesus. Because Judas knew who was Jesus was. But the soldiers didn't know because all the disciples started looking like Jesus. So meaning that Jesus had to reflect himself in his disciples. That's why you find that Jesus, there's a point here, that he sent his disciples to do what? To go and preach the gospel, to cast out demons. Why? Because he had imposed himself in his disciples. And the disciples, they were able to look like him. I can tell you, they were able to do what he already did. He multiplied himself in him, in them. So you find what God has put in you is to multiply what God has put in also others. In order for those others to touch others too. In order for others also to touch others too. My God. And the Bible says, when we go to end, but he who, 18, but he who had received one went and dug, a, 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 dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord had retained, had retained, listen, had retained. After a long time, the Lord of all servants came and settled account with them. See, this one decide this one servant what he did he went to dark a hole and hide it that's what it is happening some of us here with the talents that god has put in you you have dug it how have you dug it you have dug it and put it on the in the ground how have you dug it and put it in the ground listen <coughs> for example god has given you the grace to encourage others and you see somebody bringing us here and you know for sure god is speaking to you but you have to encourage this one and you're not encouraging that person. You find that you are sitting on it. You have dug it. You have lost it. Because you're doubting who's going to listen to me. Can they hear me? Can they hear what? Can they hear what I, I, I can speak? Which person is going to listen to me? You have dug what God has put in you and put it on.
right now that are watching me. You don't know two years from now how it's going to be. But God, maybe he's entrusting me with the little, the few that are watching me right now, for you guys who are watching me. He's entrusting me with you guys right now. And if I don't do my job with the five that is here, guess what will happen? Even the five of you that are watching right now, next time you won't watch me. So if I'm able to be able to be faithful to five that are watching, God will see my effort. God will see my strength. He'll be like, okay, I've seen this time. You won't be surprised for you that are watching. You won't be surprised that next time you find that open doors, opportunities to preach in different places. You won't be surprised because you have seen even the few that you are watching me right now. You are able to show my commitment. So if I said, okay, I'm just having five. I want the exact to have 50 viewers at, the, at one point. It's a lie because God is trying to test me. How am I growing the few that I'm expressing me with? How am I being faithful with the few that I am with? So this time, sometimes when you don't want to say, okay, God, I want me to have 100 people at one time. It's not the best not the way you're supposed to do. Maybe by coming here, it's just for few. If I'm very be able to be faithful with the few, if I'm able to be faithful with the few that are watching, you find God will start be start what multiplying in my life. It may not be here. You find God will start bring, bringing opportunities to preach on platforms, and you won't be surprised because you say that I remember the time Yvette started. I was with her. She'd come on Facebook. We were the few of us, but she was there preaching. Why? Because I've not dug. I've not dug a hole and hidden my what and hidden my talents. I've not hidden it. With my faithfulness, with a few, I come. I go, I come here, I take my shower, I sit down, I come as if I'm, I'm going to the office just to come and minister the word of God to you guys. My God, Alabas Yaha. Don't hide what God has put in you. I know it's, let me tell you, one thing that you have to know, that whatever God that has put in you, it's not everyone that you're going to attract. Others don't even criticize you. In that process, it's a process of training. Hey, me, when I come here, in fact, even when I dance, when I come here, there are some people who get offended. There are some people who are just waiting for me to fall. But at the end of the day, God always helps me come through. I may have few people who are watching like that, but God will still tell me, if it's go. Sometimes I wouldn't want to come here. But you tell me, I bet you dedicated the money for me. You better go and preach. And I'll come. If you hear, you see me posting that, okay, guys, today I'm not coming. Then it means maybe I'm working, I'm working. But I've never, beside that, I've never, never stayed behind and said, okay, I'm just seated behind. I'm not going to preach. Because all that same thing has entrusted me with you guys. I know you're my sisters, you're my brothers. Maybe you're coming here. It's just for you. If God is training me. And he's saying, yes, these are your brothers. Are you intimidated? I want them to come. That's why maybe you come here and you are going here and listening to me. That some of you have been watching me ever since. You have some of you, even the time I did, some of you, you are the only one viewer that I had. You are the only two viewers that I had from the beginning. But you have been here. And some of you can see that I'm growing. It's not the way I used to preach. Those time I would preach with fear. Those time I would preach with fear, uh, with fear, with shyness. But as time goes on, I'm still coming in. Some of you, God has called you to come and preach on Facebook. But what you are just thinking, how are people going to look at me? Can you imagine that there's a soul that is perishing right now? There's a soul that is heading to hell because you're not working in your assignment. Hi, Sister Ethel. Thank you so much for coming in. Since it's an honor. There are some of you, what are you, your talents? You have put it on the ground, you have buried it. You are not content with what God has given you. You have to be content with what God has given you. It can be one, but if you are faithful with that one, God will multiply. If you are faithful with that, this servant who had two, he said that, no, me, I have two. But she went, he, I think it was a he or she went, they went to, to, do, to multiply. But foolish is a faith servant who had to hide one talent and bury it. Sometimes when God gives us something but God, I don't like this. Are you the one to choose what God has put in your life? Are you the one just flow with it? And as you flow with it, God himself will multiply. My God. Now let me tell you. At 19, after a long time, this is what will happen. It's called a judgment day. God has already assigned important things for us to do the work of God. Now he will return. Now here, the servant says, 
the master said, after, the Bible said, after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and set account with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other more talents, saying, Lord, you delivered me with five talents. Look, I have gained five more beside them. So this one came to Jesus and said, like, you know what, no, this, he was telling the, the master, that, master, I know you had already put uh, uh, the talent of comedy in me. Do you know what I've brought, I've brought back other comedians that are doing the work of God, making comedy? Do you know that there are some people who are using comedy to demolish the work of God? They have come across some comedians, they will take other preachers and try to combine the two as if the two preachers are fighting, so that they should bring confusion in the body of Christ. And other people will be commenting, oh, no, I remember there was a video that I came across, they put T.B. Joshua and Apostle John Sulema. And they got like they got two sermon and the other sermon for TB Joshua, and they brought them together, like trying. They were preaching; it's a sermon, but they, are, they brought the preachers together to try to make them as if they are contradicting one another. To, to and others would be like, "Hey, Apostle Joseph is good. Apostle uh, TB Joshua is like this. TB, why? Those are comedians. People are laughing. Look at Christians. Look at this. They are using comedy to demolish the work of God." And God here is saying that he, and, and here the servant, for example, the servant came and said that Lord, I brought extra comedians that are doing the very same thing, that bring God through comments. So here I bring them. I went to preach them out with what you have been posing me. Oh Lord, since you had assigned me to dance on, on this earth, so you have brought me. Lord, what I can tell you, I've put extra people that can dance even better than me for the kingdom of God. Here is the other one. Father, you gave me the grace to do what? To be a singer, a musician. And here I am. I've brought some people that can sing even better than me. People that can even rap for you, Lord. People that can even be worship for you, Lord. I've brought extra. So this, time, this servant was very proud of himself. He was not even embarrassed because he knew what he has already invested on the ground. And he said, Lord, I brought these five more. I brought the kind, the same kind that you had put in me. This again, my God, and above your hand, the God. And look, I have gained five more talents besides them, besides what you gave me. And the Bible 21 goes, His Lord said, Well done, good and faithful servant. You, you were faithful over the few things. Remember, you were faithful over the few things. I will make you ruler of many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. So here the Bible says, he was telling you, that he, after he presented those things, how many of you here is God going to say that good and faithful servant, God, I entrusted you with little and enter into your glory. I will trust you with many. How many of you ask yourself with what God has put in you? Can you say good and faithful servant? Um, I've entrusted you with that word of encouragement to others and you are making use of it. Not only that one. So because I've entrusted you with the word of encouragement, I am going to even give you the, the, the word of what? Sorry, guys. Hey. Okay. How many of you is God going to say, I entrusted you with, with that word of encouragement. So I'm going to even add the gift of healing because I see that you have been faithful in the word of encouraging with others. I've seen you that you are faithful. So I'm now going to multiply my goal. Rabba Zondeka handle both. So this servant received the multiplication and said, I'm going to, encourage, to, to, to be responsible. The problem is that we want to start with many. What is God wants to start step by step with us? Then 22, they said, He also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you deliver, you deliver to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents beside them. Listen, this servant, in as much as they received Ten talents in the five, and they did not say that Lord, you entrusted me with five, and I brought three. No, they did. They said that Lord, you entrusted me with five, and I brought the very five beside the ones that you gave me. 
and here the two did not say that Lord, you gave me two, and I came to bring one. And for these people to be called faithful servants, it's because they were able to bring the faith of the, the faith of them, the way they were given. They were able to bring back two, the same way that they are given. You become a faithful servant when you bring back the exact that God has given you, has imposed in you. You become a faithful servant. He was able to say good and faithful servant. Now listen to the person that received one. The Lord said to the other one who gave who got two. The Lord said to the Lord said the Lord said to him, "Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over the few. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter in the glory of the Lord." Here the God was saying that you too, you brought two too. You have been faithful. You are a good, faithful servant. And trusted you with little but with a few, and you are faithful with the two. Therefore, come and enjoy the best. I have more for you. I'm able to trust you. Sometimes God is just, you know, sometimes most of the things that we have, they're just like there to test us. There's so much that is ahead of us. There's so much that God has put in us. There's so much. But the only thing he wants you to be faithful. Sometimes you say that, you know, I was, there's something that I was saying that sometimes there are some people that I tell when I say, sometimes we cry, Lord, set me on fire. I want to be on fire for you. I want to burn. When God sets you on fire, you don't do nothing with the prayer, with the fire that you have. When you say, Father, I pray for the gift of healing, He gives you the gift of healing. And he tells you, okay, I want you to pray for your sister. You don't want to pray for your sister. In fact, you are failing to pray for your sister in the house. How is he going to trust you with the, if you pray for the patient in the hospital? The gift of healing has already been set in you, but are you making use of it? Sometimes you pray for things that you don't make use of it. So you find that God will want to first start, start with you to test you if you are going to be faithful with the little, with that one person. Now listen to the other said servant, whatever. And he who had received one talent came and said, Lord, I, I knew. You to I knew you to be a hard working man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered. And I was afraid. I went and hide your talent in the ground. Hey, my God, we have to be grateful over what God has put in us. See here the Bible says he says, Look, there you have what is yours. Listen to what the, the Lord said. But he answered. And said to him, You wicked and lazy servant. Do you know why the master said, Do you know what I was just thinking? Do you know why the master was able to say that you wicked and lazy servant? Because the reason that he said you wicked and lazy servant, because there are some souls that are going to hell. There are some souls that are going to hell. You had no mercy. You had the talent that had to bring them back to know Jesus. And you did not speak to them. And when they died, they ended up going to hell. And they, you, you, those people are perishing to hell. You had that gift of encouraging someone. And you did not encourage someone. And they are perished going to hell. And you are hiding that gift. You are sitting on it. At that particular time, that person needs you more than anything. He needs that way. He does, you don't know that the way that you have to deliver to them, that's what they need for them to survive. But you hide it. You keep it. And, Jesus, and, the, and, and the Lord was like, you are wicked. Do you know that that, 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 that talent you hide, there's some, someone who was connected to it. And they ended up dying, going to hell. You have no passion for them. You are wicked. You are lazy. When I give you assignment to do it, you can't do it. So you allowed somebody to perish because you were you, you never wanted to make use of this. You hide what I've put inside you. You hide. I remember there was a time Bishop Blessed Samuel was saying that like Bishop was saying that he was saying that you can use even your beauty to bring somebody to Christ. You can use you, your beauty, you, you, the reason that you are beautiful is to bring somebody to Christ. There are some guys, me, I'll give an example of myself. There are some guys who come to me. I even know that this is not my husband. I even know that this one, you know, we can't date. I, you know, we, I look at them, they'll come to me. You're so beautiful, you're what? And you know me. And you know me, I smile. My smile, even this smile, it's also a blessing. 
and I abuse the smile, abuse my beauty to bring some people to Christ. When you find this person comes to me, you're so beautiful, so others will be like, ah, they'll start asking silly questions, foolish questions. And they, uh, I'll use that same thing that they have appreciated me like, oh, I'm beautiful, thank you so much. It is by the grace of God. You know, God is the one who, you see, I'm using the beauty. I didn't say, why are you telling me that I'm beautiful? What is your problem? Yes, the Bible says you are beautifully and wonderfully made. You are beautifully, fearfully, and fearful, wonderfully made. So, I'm not going to say, why are you telling me beautiful? What is your intention? What of, of the, oh, yeah, I'm beautiful. Ha, thank you. And it's just by the grace of God. They're like, what else I'm saying that? They'll be like, ah, oh, I love your smile too. Let me try ah, everything. You know, and you know, I've got a dimple. Let me, oh, here. They'll be like, ah, oh, you think I have a dimple? Wow, you are packaged. And that's a guy, right? They're after me. And I'll be using that thing to us. I realize that all this is just by the grace of God. Uh, thank God. You know, it's just God that beautifies. Imagine for my beauty, I'm like, it's just God that beautifies everyone. I know, you know, even me like, right now, I am. it's just the grace of God. I didn't know that I'll be like this. But God has used, he has beautified my life and made me look beautiful. And you're able to see that I'm beautiful. You know, it is only takes the grace of God. It only I'm using my beauty to bring glory to God. I'm using what God has put in life to bring glory to God. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. I use my smile to bring glory to God. When somebody says, I felt I love your smile, I'm like, ha, look, I'm telling you, I believe in using, look, look, my dental formula, you know, using my dental formula has got gaps. I've been using the dental formula, ah, you, you know, my smile is very good, eh, look, and has gaps here, but look at my smile comes out. Why? For the glory of of God, not for me, but for the glory of God. When somebody comes to you, I love your hair, you can use your hair to bring glory to God. Somebody will tell you that I love your hair, I like, oh my dear, this one is just took the grace of God to buy this wig. Eh? This wig, it was very expensive, but you know the way God is. God is our provider. He never leaves us, no protect us. My friend, even you, God can provide for you. I've come to know God that God is my provider. Listen, it's just the hair, but you have used that hair to bring glory to God. How are you bringing glory to God? How are you, man of God? God's God, praise the God bless you. Thank you so much for coming in. How are you bringing glory to God? You can use your smile. I love your smile. Oh, God, thank you so much. Ah. You may smile, God, but what is your intention for you to bring glory to God? You use, you use what someone can just appreciate you. I love your shirt. I was like, oh, my dear, this shirt I was given. Oh, I, you know, I never even expected, I didn't even have money to buy this shirt, but it was given. You know, when God is using, you know, when God is using you today, you're like, oh, thank you so much. You know, this shirt I was just given. I love it. I love it so much. And you know, let me like, do you want it? You may say, do you also want it? If you want me to bless you, I can bless you. You know, um, sometimes you say, as you went by, sometimes God will even lead you to even say, to even say that, oh, 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 give it to her. So that you, oh, I, let me give it to you. You know, I used to say, I'm just led to give it to you. Imagine a shirt, you have used a shirt to glorify God. This shirt, you have used it to glorify God, to win a soul to Christ. I always say that evangelism is strategical. If you are waiting that every time you have to speak the word, the word of God to a person like, no, come to Jesus. Some people that have heard all those words from preachers. They have heard all these words that we've preached today. But all that they need is for you to put food on their table. Bring, bring me that wig. Okay, I'll bring it. Tell me when you have a program, I'll bring this wig. I'll also be a man of God. I'll bring it. Elisha said it. So, how are you bringing glory to God? How are you bringing to God? Someone can just appreciate you. I love your lipstick. Use the lipstick to bring glory to God. Be strategically. Do you know why the enemy, the devil, is winning a lot of souls to hell? Because he knows. He has the strategy. He has the strategy. Some people, they, they, they go to the devil because they've been offered something. They've been offered food. And when we come to believers, we don't want to share food. The devil knows how to give. And people be like, if we, if the devil can give me money, if the devil can give me food, if people can give me food, some people that have ended being prostitutes because they being in the street to do prostitution. Why? Because they feel like when they do prostitution, that's when they're having money. But what is 
that God gave you? Are you there just to say that you, so you to have the level that I'm the one or the most richest person on earth? Let me tell you, richest thing, me, I need money. Let me tell you the truth, I really need money. Oh, but, really? be, but, 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 so you're joking, you don't want my get as well. So, so, so you find, so you find, you find that with the little that you have, how are you bringing glory to God? Are you making use of the talent? You don't have to have more in order for you to be a blessing to people. The little that you have, you can share. Let me give you an example. You know, the time we are doing the festival fire video, this year, I was telling my sister, I called my sister, this year we have to feed people at a goal. And my sister, my young sister, I called her back home. She said, okay, we'll do it. So every time I want to do it, I'll, something will come out, maybe something, I have to do something and everything. So I told God that, God, when I win the money for the festival fire, I'll, bring, I'll feed people. I'll feed people. I'll do the work. Can you imagine? When I won, what do I have? When I won the, when I won the competition, I know I, I was one of the people that won the competition, me and the Nata. And I thought, since I told God that, God, when I win the competition, I want what? I can't see the preaching. I was like, when I win the competition, brother, I want to feed people. I want to feed people. And guess what? God ate my prayers. I won the competition. And I fed the people that I said I'm going to feed. So sometimes, as a child of God, and I brought, I was happy I brought joy into people's lives. I was so happy because other people were able to feed. I'm trying to look for something. Other people were able to come to eat. They were able to feed. They were able to come to eat. I put smile on their face. I know I'm not dead there, but I'm learning. You see, these are the people. I organized some young people back home. I was like, my sister organized some. And they were able to do charity work here. Here. I was happy. Look, look at the smiles of people. I was happy. I gave them a bag of uh, uh, oil and what from the money that I won. Here, my God. I was happy. I know I'm not yet there, but I'm learning. We have learned so much from the woman of God. Her giving, it just challenges us. We have to be challenged. May put a smile. There are some people that will only come to know God when you show kindness to them. That's why as a child of God, you have to portray the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Patience, kind, joy, uh, 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 self-control, gentleness. Those fruits are the ones that reflect Jesus in you. My God, Rabbi Sunde Kahande Labos Lata. Hallelujah. So let me continue. So Jesus, uh, uh, I mean, the master was like, you are wicked. You are lazy. Many people have gone to hell because you parrot what I gave you. Why are you wicked like this? Then, as, then, then so, so you had to have deposited my money with a banker and, and at my coming, I would have received, I would have received back my own interest. I would have received my own with interest. The master was like, why did you hide them? Why are you wicked? Why are you so lazy? Don't you know? Don't you, don't you, don't you know that the things that I put for you, there's a soul that has perished. At least if you had put it in an account, in a bank, it could have come with interest, but you tried to put, so you made me feel, you made me, for you, in fact, let, let me tell you, to make, do you know when you put something on the ground, it's a sign that that thing it doesn't exist, it is dead. When a person dies, what happens? They bury it, put it in the ground. So this person was very, this servant was ungrateful over what God was ungrateful over what God had imposed in him, in how if it was him or her, this servant. She was, or he was ungrateful, and he decided to hand put what God. So sometimes, like our father, I cannot be effective with this this encouragement that you you put in me. Let me just uh, forget about it. You make what God has put in you useless. Hi, God have mercy on us. You throw it away. You are like I don't want, but what I want sometimes we don't want, want what we are seeing other people. My dear, 
for me to do it, for example, me and Ma, the woman of God, what she does. But for me to do it there, I just have to say to guys, ah, if I want the woman of God, I have to do a lot of work. Oh, ah, my dear, I have to do it. Now when I come at I don't want with what I'm doing. I want to be like her. I may be like her. Do I know what she does? Maybe what I do in the secret is even few that uh, she does more in the secret. That's why she's able to come out like that. But as time goes on, when I'm faithful, she will do it for me. My God, Rabbi Sun de Kata. Now listen here. Therefore, take the talents, and here the Bible says, so you hold, oh sorry, therefore take the talents from him and give it to the other to take, oh sorry, therefore take the talents from him and give it to him who has the talents. So here the master was like, you know, I've not time with you because of all this investment that I did and I entrusted you with this, you, you decided to throw, put my, put that dancing skill you have on the ground. Are you for real? So I was like, are you for real? And you, you are saying that, you, how can I put you in charge of the others? How can you even put you in charge of many? So my friend, you, 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 you just made me feel as if what I gave you is useless. You just made me feel like what I did, what I've imposed in you. You are, you don't value it. You don't, you don't, you don't appreciate it. You are very ungrateful. Anyway, it's okay. Get this talent and give it to somebody who's serious. That's why you find that there are some people who are serious with what God has imposed in them. You find that there is growth every time growth is coming on them. You are seeing every time the levels are going high in the way they pray, in the way they minister the word of God, in the way in the way they talk, in the way. Why? Because they are faithful. And they, the others, others maybe their talents have been taken. Do you know how God can take away the talents and you become uh, useful, useless? You just die because that talent which you have, as long well as you have it, you're not making all use of it. You end up losing your life. And God gives it to somebody who's going to value that one that you have. My God. And look at this person just had one, but he didn't use it. And this one was carried away, taken, given it to said person. Remember, the Lord here, uh, the master here said, I will trust you with many. So many that that talent that the other one did was grabbed away from that lazy servant. And it was given to other one who had ten. So sometimes when you see other people going high, don't fight them because maybe everything that God has imposed in them, they are making use of it. And maybe you you have to start by step one, step two, step three, step four. And later, you become, later God entrusts you with greater and mighty things. Let me tell you, sometimes, uh, there are sometimes maybe you don't have, you know, maybe I'll just give an example of a woman that is barren, right? You don't have a child. And it happens that at times what it happens, God who give, who bring a certain child in your life, maybe it is your sister's child, or it can be your friend's child, or it can be anyone's child. And guess what happened? God wants you to see how you're going to take care of that child before he opens your own womb. So sometimes you, why we fail to experience the blessing of God or the multiplication? Because with the ones that God has given us, are we making useful of it? God has given you that child in your house. The worst thing is to mistreat that child. The worst thing is to do, do, do. If you look at that child, look at that child as your child. Do what you can do for a child. And when God sees that you are faithful with your sister's child, with your cousin's child, with someone's child, he's going, but the, he's going to even give you your own. But the problem sometimes, uh, what happens? We become jealous of other people that don't have children, or we try to carry bitterness in us. The best way to attract something is to treat it like your own. And when God, how can God entrust you with your own if you are able to take care of other people's uh, properties? My God, Rabbi Sunday, the boss, yeah. Now listen, for the Bible here continues. For, for to any, everyone who, for, oh, sorry, for to everyone who has who has more will be given and who and sorry for to everyone who has more more will be given and he will have abundance but from him from him who has not have any who has not have sorry even what he has will be taken away and cast and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness they will whip and gush of their teeth, garnish their teeth. Meaning here the Bible says that, you know, 
power. Therefore, many that have this, those who have many, even much will be multiplied, much will be given to them because they are making use of that much in them. So, even therefore, this servant that is wicked, this servant that is not making use of what I've given to him, listen, this is what I judgment day. Throw him in the pit of, uh, in the darkest. In, in the darkest place, which is the pit of hell. So some of us here, if you're not making use of people, of, of the talents that God has put you, that's a sign of ungrateful. You're not being grateful for one talent that God has given you. As you keep on being faithful to that, God does even more. Going to church is never enough. There's so much that God has put in your life that you're supposed to multiply. There's so much thing that God has put in you. Going to church, yes, it's good. But it's never enough because what you have, there's somebody that needs that thing. There's something, somebody that has to hear that thing that you have. There's somebody that has to see the gift that you have in you. How are you motivating someone? My God, but you know what? What happens? Some people are afraid to do the work of God, they are afraid to do the work of the Father, they are afraid to do the work of God. They are afraid to do the work of God. They say that, how are people going to look at me? How? Are, what am I going to say? It's better you go. Just say, even if God bless you. Say it. Say it. Maybe somebody just wants to hear that word, God bless you. My God. Let me let me open for you the book of Luke. Luke, this is the last scripture. Luke 9. 26, the Bible says, because sometimes we don't want to make use of what God has put in us because we are ashamed. Listen, the Bible says, For whosoever is ashamed of me and my word, of, of my word, of him, the son of man, will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and in his fathers and, and of the holy angels. So here the Bible says that when you are ashamed of what God has put in your life, some of you are ashamed. No, I can't dance. How are people going to look at me? You are ashamed, eh? You are ashamed. Okay, judgment to come. When you want to say, Father, I'm ashamed of you. You are ashamed of what I put inside you. You think as if when I put that thing in you, I was joking? Don't you know that there are some of your friends, your family that have perished because you are hiding that thing, you are dug it on the ground. I'm also ashamed of you. You'll be like, how oh, father? I, I, you know, I used to go to church. Some of like, yeah, I used to go to church. But the Duke, the Bible says, obedience is better than sacrifice. Are you ashamed to stand and preach the word of God? Let me tell you, there was a time I was going to, I was going to New York, right? And there was this person that was preaching in the train. Me, I know, I, I, I always meant to do that. But there was a brother, a sister, I don't even know that person. He was preaching the word of God. And people, you know, people are just on their own, doing their own stuff. Me, me I, when I heard that he was preaching the word of God, you know what I did? I went next to him. I started, when I was preaching in the train, everyone was just busy. Me, I went there focusing so that I should support a brother. I don't know that person. I was there focusing. When he was preaching, I was even saying, Amen, in the train. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I wasn't led to do that. But that person was preaching the word of God. He's your sister, he's your brother. You, you, not when you see somebody preaching the word of God, you even look somewhere else. I don't want to look crazy. Support your sisters. Now it's there. Amen. Amen. In the train. The train was moving. This one was preaching. I was also saying, Amen. Because I know we are one people. We are doing the same thing. But you find when you come across such kind of person doing it in public, you're even afraid to talk to them. You're even afraid to say it before or to support them because you know no people are going to look at me as a crazy person to support. Me as the amen. Praise God. God bless you. Amen. Support him. Because I saw that we are one. We are one. I don't know of many, but we are one in the spirit. When others are not supporting this world, let me tell you, this world, people in the world, they support each other. But when it comes to the body of Christ, we don't support each other. We in fact we even fight one another. But look at most of the unity, even the devil himself. Do you know why the kingdom of darkness most of them it becomes successful in what they do, their plans, what they do? It's because them they know the spirit of unity. They know when they know each other, they know how to connect. They know. But you find that when we come to children of God, we are fighting each other. We don't understand. We want to say this one is better than this one. No one is better than nobody. What God has put in us is what it's according to what He has already with us. Otherwise, nobody is better than anybody. Whether you have ten talents, three talents, you one talent, you are not, not better than that person that has one. 
If that one person is being faithful with the one, he's going to receive a word from God and said, good and faithful servant. But it was just only one talent. You who had 17, you make use of two, and in fact, you make use of five. You don't make use, uh, you make use of uh, seven. You don't make use of ten. In as much as you did more than the other, in as much as you did five, and this person has one talent and he did one, the one who did one talent and was faithful, God will say good and faithful. You who did seven, it won't be a faithful one, but because why? You are not fulfilling what God has put in your life. You are ashamed. How can you be ashamed of God? How can you call yourself a Christian? Sometimes you call yourself, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Out of church, you don't even want people to know that you are a believer. Out of church, outside your fellow believers, you don't even want to if people say, well, you, don't, you can't even mention the name of Jesus. Why? Because you are ashamed. You don't want people to feel, because sometimes people feel like when they mention the name of Jesus, they feel they are hot class. Maybe they are, they are old fashioned. They don't want to talk about it. Even the way you talk, you come across people. Let them know that you carry Jesus. Let them know that there's fire in you. Let me tell you, do you know that people, uh, people in the world are not ashamed of, of doing anything? Do you know that you have come across people in the world? Uh, most people in the world, they are not even insult in the street. They don't say shout, insult, speak those F words without fear. But you, us, when it comes to Christians, we can't even say Jesus. We can't even say that. The Bible says, don't be, when you are ashamed of him, he will be ashamed of you before his father on judgment day. So I came to tell you, are you making use of every talent that God has given you? Are you making use of that what God has put in you? Are you making use of it? Or are you a kind of person that is hiding because you don't want people to see you? Are you hiding that skill of, ta of dancing you have? Are you hiding that gift of intercession? You are an intercessor to stand on behalf of nations. You are an intercessor to stand on behalf of your family. You are an intercessor to stand on behalf of the world. But are you making use of that? Are you going to say that, no, I'm not going to intercede? Because even the people that I'm interceding for, they don't know me. My dear, your prayer is needed. I'm done with the word of God for today. And may God bless you. Hi, Taonga. May God bless you. Taonga was my vice back home. May God bless you. So, are you making use of that talent? Don't be discouraged. Don't feel down. Don't feel like, no, because I have one. With that one, make use of it. Add it to multiply. God will begin to entrust in you with more. Make use of it. Hallelujah. May God bless you all. May God protect you. May God cover you with the blood of Jesus. I believe that this word has come for somebody, even myself too, because I have to say to myself, maybe there are some things that I'm not doing. In as much as I've, I've discovered others, maybe it's not everything that I'm doing. I came to tell you that, child of God, for you to keep on moving, we have to stand in line with God. That was very powerful and deep teaching. Amen, mercy. God bless you. Hallelujah. It's just the grace of God. Hallelujah. How many of you have been blessed here? It's just the grace of God. We are into this thing together. You know, the kingdom of God is not about me. It's not about you. But we are into this together. Let's support one another. The, the, the way these witches, when they want to kill, they support one another. What is wrong with us Christians? What is wrong with us believers? Sometimes we become the source with what we have. We don't want to make use of it. What is wrong with us? Let's make use of everything that God, anything that you notice that God has put in, inside you. Because that thing, you are going to be answerable over what you said, the words that you said, and the thing that you did. And I wouldn't want to see even you guys imagine all this preaching that I'm giving I'm doing right now then at the end of the day I fell to go to heaven because I'm not making use of other talent that God has given me you see so I can come here to preach but it is also coming back to me it's also coming back to me it's so it, 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 that's why let's support one another 
We need each other to survive. I need you. You need me. We need each other. We are a body. We are, look at the body itself cannot function alone. The, the body cannot. Uh, in fact, if I didn't have the whole body, if I didn't have the hands, how can I hold the phone? If I didn't have the eyes, how can I come on Facebook and see what I'm doing? If I didn't, if, if it was only the mouth blah, 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 talking, we would have been afraid that why is it only the mouth talking? I'm not breathing. We need each other. If you are the aunt, maybe me, I'm the head. Maybe the other one is the maybe Asha is uh, uh, Asha, she's, she's, she's the eye. Maybe Taonga is the leg. Maybe that's how it is. We have to coordinate and we have to know where we stand. We have to know our boundaries and we have to know our reign. Our reign. Uh, 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 our reign. Know your reign. If I, I'm not, if I'm not the, the mouth, how can I eat? Not because this time the nose wants to eat. The 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 mouth wants to walk. Mm. It's opposite thing are happening in the body of Christ. The hands want to, but their hands are the ones that wants to walk. The legs are the ones that want to feed, to feed them up. The, everything has got its own way, its function. Hallelujah. Let the mouth talk. Let the nose breathe. Let the eyes see. Let the ears hear. Let the hands touch whatever they have to. Let the legs walk. Not the head wants to walk. The hands want to breathe. What, what? No. Know your reign, maintain it, and God will bless us together. So, I love you guys, and keep the fire burning. I just feel, I, I feel drained. I feel drained, and I love you. If you have any question, please, you can inbox me. May God bless you. May God protect you. May God cover you. If you have shared the video, may God bless you. And for everyone that was here and those that are going to preview me later, may God bless you. So before I go, for the sake of those that are watching me, preview me later. I want us to pray. Uh, uh, if you, have no, you are here, you have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. We can talk about all these things, making use of the talent. But the talent, if it's being used out of the will of God, it becomes a mess. Because... Every talent to be productive, every parent to be productive, it has to be in Christ. I gave an example of comedians. There are some comedians who mock the work of God, who mock men of God, who mock the work of God, especially they mock Christianity. They make even that they are using that to decampaign the kingdom of God. They want to make people as if maybe being a change, change it's boring. They are using they're, they're, they're using comment to demolish the work of God. And you, why can't you use that same comment to bring things to God and make people feel that it's not all about what they say, it's about God. So, I want to tell you, so for you to be effective, maybe you're dancing, there are those we call, uh, what do they call, dancing queens. Dancing queens, they dance world music. They dance, they all have to be, dancing queens, you have to be a dancing queen for the kingdom of God. That's what I did in the morning. I, I in the beginning of this video, I first started dancing. It's not that because I I wanted to dance now. So sometimes you have to be a dancing queen for the kingdom of God. There are those dancing queens for the for say they dance security to the war to they go under walls. The demons they dance for the enemy. They dance, they dance for the devil. But when it comes to God, we try to be too smart. And God is the one who gave you that body. God is the one who gave you everything for his glory, not to glorify the enemy. So all those things, they can be effective if you commit them into God's hands. So you are here or you preview me later. Don't feel left out because maybe you won't be on me with me or life. I want you to open up your eye and you to open up your heart and say that, Lord, help me to be useful. Help me to be actually still coming back to useful the prayer and fasting that we had. If Lord, help me to I, I want to be useful by what you have been posed in my life. The comedy, the dancing, the preaching, the word of God, the evangelism, the encouragement. Do you know that there are some people that are encouraging others to do evil things? But that encouragement, if it is turned into to, to be useful into God's eyes, the world will be productive. So I want to, I want to, I, I want to encourage. I want you to open up your heart. Oh, you have backslidden. You have backslidden, and you want to make things right, right with God. I want you to open up your heart and pray with me this prayer, salvation prayer. And believe me, when you pray this prayer, God will make use for it. And whatever that you do, you multiply. You will multiply in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and personal Savior. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better, but from there onwards, I've come to know that you are my savior. 
You died on the cross for the sake of my salvation. And I'm here, Lord, to respond to your call. Have mercy on me. I believe that you died on the cross and rose from the grave for the sake of my salvation and my freedom. I'm here to answer my call of salvation and of receiving you forever and ever in the name of Jesus. From now on, I am born again. I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen. And for everyone, let me pray for everyone, those who feel like, Ivete, maybe some of you are asking, like, Ivete, you know, I don't know, I just feel lazy. You know, this world, when the world, the world of fight, because your flesh and the spirit are there, you have the, you are a spirit being, but you are in the flesh, and flesh will always fight you. So, the reason that sometimes you want to do something, you feel lazy, because flesh is pulling you back. That, it's, it, it, it will always be like that. But what you feed yourself into with is what takes dominion over a, a something else. What you feed yourself with is what takes dominion over others. You have to take dominion over the ways that you speak. And say that, Lord, when you want to be effective into the kingdom of God, you have to feed yourself with spiritual food. Listen to gospel music. Study the word of God. Listen to gospel, uh, to gospel artists. All these things are going to help your spiritual growth. You can't be a believer listening to world music. Tomorrow you listen to... <laughs> There's a post that I made this week on Facebook. I was like, you cannot be a Christian listening to or secular music and comforting yourself. No, it's just a, a, a love song. That love song, I, I don't know. For, the, for you guys who are there, last week the time I invited my guest, he said, he's mentioned something about songs. He mentioned something about song that when the enemy wants to project something in your life, he will not come to you that has come to project this. No. He will use strategy. He will program it. If he wants to plant the spirit of lust in a person, he will not want to come and plant it like that. For example, we are a believer. He knows that he, he, you are not going to be shaken like that. But you first come. Uh, he said, for example, the way it is, Maybe a, 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 a person, a, a, a secular musician, who released a song, an album. Maybe the first song, the first song on his album, it says that how oh, I saw a girl passing, and you be like, oh, how she saw the girl passing, and the song will be just like I saw the girl passing, or whatever. The second song will be like how I saw, how I greeted her, and how I said hi, and the song will be like how I saw and greeted, and it's looking cool, and later to be like how I kissed her and had sex with her. And let, let me tell you, it first started by looking at the girl. That's a strategy. The devil has already programmed. But why? Because he wants to have, have you to have the spirit of lust. But he did come direct to you. He first came by saying how you saw the girl passing, how you said hi. And later, the second album song says how I kissed her and had sex with her. And you know what? And later, there'll be that thing you'll start talking. Ah, she just saw the girl passing. Later, she said, ah, now it's sex and kissing. You try to start paying attention. So what did it say about sex and kissing? And you find that at the end of the day, from that time, I don't know about you. Me, I'm talking to according to my own experience. There's that thing when you come across it, you start, when you start feeling, you start feeling your body somehow, you start feeling you, you like you want to do it, you just want to have somebody, you will just have a guy, a man to just kiss, to touch you, to romance you, and everything. Why? Because of what your mind has been hearing. Uh, that, that's why the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So your faith, it, it means that you can hear every word. But your, your faith to be effective is when you hear the word of God, the things of God, the gospel, everything. Be mindful what you feed yourself with because that is very effective. Imagine, so after you see that, that, that song, that musician sings, and later comes, you start feeling somehow. You, want to, you start feeling like you want to touch yourself, you want somebody. Me, that has happened to me. So me, I'm talking to experience. So I'm not saying at all. Maybe I heard it. And sometimes... When we, I'll come across, maybe we talk about a movie. We are talking about a movie. You just say, no, I'm just watching a simple movie. Such a movie. From that movie, you just see one time, these guys are, are looking at each other. They are chasing each other. Later, you find themselves are romancing. From there, and you find me sometimes what I used to do, like, what I used to, I used to do, this time I always avoid that. You know, we are human beings. I can't lie. You feel somehow. So there was those moments when you're watching, you're like, ah! 
Like you're hiding your face, but your other eye is watching. You're hiding, but the other eye is watching. Your mind is being fed by negative messages. The enemy wants to attack with your mind. When he attacks your mind, because your mind is the center of almost everything that controls you, you're busy hiding, oh, 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 but you're watching. And later, when you sleep in the night, you start, you just want to touch your pillow, you want to feed it, you want to romance it, you want to, ah, it is because of what you heard and what you watched. So, my dear, you start romancing the pillow and the pillow, and you make matters when the pillow is not even responding. And you want a response where you have to be touched too, but it's not responding. So, child of God, this thing that we watch, we see, we have to be careful with it. Hallelujah. We have to be careful with it. Listen to the word of God. Find yourself in the presence of God. Find yourself in the way of God. You cannot say, I'm strong. Oh, you can't fight. You can't fight fresh with fresh, my dear. It's all fresh with fresh. is fresh itself. So, God bless you. I just diverted a little bit for the for, for the topic. and But the topic today, we are talking about making use of your talent, okay? So, I'm a youth. I know what I'm talking about. So, I want you to open up your heart and say that, Father, I want you to pray. Let me, let me pray with you. Let's just pray that, Father, make me to be a vessel that I will be useful and I'll make use of the talents that you have put in my life. And I'll be, I'll, 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 and I'll be able to do what you assigned me to do in the name of Jesus. Uh, let us pray that Lord Rabba Sunde Karabasa, Father, the attitude of being ungrateful over what you have put in me and trying to compare myself with other people's gifts. My Father, my God, have mercy on me. Father, for each and everyone that has given their life to you, Lord, my Father, make them useful, Lord. Let them discover what they are good at, what they can do to be influenced to the kingdom of God, to bring influence to the kingdom of God. Father, you are amazing, you are faithful, you are great, you are above everything you are so good in the name of Jesus ragadosia hande gatosia jekela katata na bas regedosia hande ne bas sanda la bas jendeka make us to be a people that to be able to make use of what you have put inside of us in the name of Jesus Father, we love you. We are so amazing. We are so faithful. Father, may we be able to walk in your power and in your encounter. Father, we want to be filled with Jesus like never before. Lord, to be filled with Jesus is to be filled with to be filled with Jesus is to be filled with power and purity. Let purity be in us, my Father. Power in the name of Jesus to do the impossibilities that look in the eyes of man. In the name of Jesus, first we pray. Hallelujah. May God bless you all. May God protect you. Thank you so much for everyone that has been there. You're Thank you, Susanna. May God, Susan, God bless you. Macy, God bless you. Ashama, God bless you. Taonga, God bless you. Who else? No, no, no. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise. Man of God, God bless you. All men have been blessed. Sister April, God bless you. Ambrose. Anna, God bless you. Esther, God bless you. Mata G. Hallelujah. How many have been blessed? Because we are done right now. God bless you. Thank you so much, Miss Miss. I received the blessing. How many people have been blessed before I leave? Eh? Never ever change. Unchangeable. Hallelujah. How many people have been blessed? How many people have been blessed by the way today? I'm winding up. If you came late, please go and listen to the video. It was so powerful. Share the video. You don't know what life you are going to be. I have been blessed, says Macy. Thank you, sis. May God bless you. So encouraging. Macy says, I am more than blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Rabba my God, how many have been blessed? My God, I'm do, I'm reading your comments. I'm, I'm winding up. I'm winding up. I love you guys and see you. On Monday, by God's grace, remember, make use of the talents that God has put in your life because you'll be answerable at the end of the day. 
and I don't want to, like, like as for me, imagine I'm preaching to them tomorrow and to, I go to hell, God forbid, God, everything that you have, that's why when you see me dancing, I dance like a crazy person, I, and you know what, I enjoy it, not that I dance because I, I enjoy it, I love it, oh, I love it, I'm not going to lie to you, I love it, dancing, ah, you know I, mean? I dance, I love it, and even comment, I love it, it's like what I do, God, you know when God wants to do, he makes you love that thing. Me, I love it. Even, okay, if you know, like, I'm on Facebook, I also love it when I'm preaching like this. I don't care how many people are watching, but I love doing what I'm doing. I'm not going to lie to you. I love it. But, <laughs> so, whatever you love doing, do it. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. So, bye, guys. You know, I'm down. I'm not going to stop talking, but I love you. And keep the fire burning. See you next week by God's grace on Monday. But today I came a little bit late, but next next Monday, by God's grace, I'll come fast, okay? Bye. If you have any questions, please, you can inbox me. And God bless you all.